Hello everyone, I'm Cryptic Fox, and welcome back to another live stream with Oxygen Not Included. It's been an interesting week. I've uh, got a chance to kind of toy around some more with the uh, with the update, and they've uh, Clay's actually put on a couple of updates this week to kind of help out with a couple things, including uh, a change to the cold power generator so it doesn't overheat so quickly. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, thank you to everyone that's already here in the chat. I see there's a bunch of you, and we were kind of exchanging messages a little bit before the. Uh, uh, before the stream started, what's popping? Are you still hearing popping noises, or was that maybe just the uh, the background sound from the video that was making the noise? Hopefully, it's a little more of the latter and less of the... Oh, you know what? I'm in the wrong game. I should probably get out of the one I was doing tutorials in and get out of the one I actually intend to play. <laughs> um, where's my game? What was that one called? Ediacropolis. There we go. All right, we're back in the Need Acropolis. Let's see if we can kind of uh, try and expand out a little bit today. So we've kind of kept a fairly uh, fairly central and condensed colony so far. We have pretty good control of the oxygen flow in here. We have a nice light blue throughout the cold core of the base, which is great. Uh, this will kind of continue to maintain itself pretty much uh, for the next, I don't know, I would say probably 30 or 40 cycles, uh, aside from uh, having to keep an eye on food. Um, we've got plenty of water here that will help feed through to our... If I get this thing going, all the uh, all the alerts will go away about stuff that I don't have. There we go. This will keep us going for oxygen anyway. We started to dig out over here, and we got some of these bio distillers going. Uh, I think they're getting a little bit tight on power, so I might need to put another power supply in tonight. Uh, but what I really want to look at doing is kind of dig out more this way a little bit, and we'll do a little exploring. We'll kind of cut our way through the swamp biome and see if we can find anything cool out here. Now, I could go in pretty much any direction. As far as I know, the biomes don't really organize themselves in any way uh, around the sphere here. You can get any any organization of biomes, but magma is pretty much always on the on the outside. Restroom out of order. What? All right, hold on. What's going on here? Nope, everything seems to be fine that way. That was weird. I keep getting a little restroom out of order pop up. I should probably try to keep an eye on that just in case we got something jammed up here. Nope. Everything seems to be good. Oh, that's really weird. So, there wasn't even a duplicate in that lavatory, and it sent out wastewater. Almost on some sort of a weird delay. So wacky. Uh, these here, I could get... This is just extra pipe. I could get rid of it, but if I do, it's going to drop uh, waste... It's going to drop polluted water down into the fresh water that's below, so I'm just going to leave it there. It doesn't really cause any issues, uh, so I'm not going to do anything with that. Um, in terms of food, we're probably going to have to start moving a little bit more towards uh, having some more bristle blossom. Uh, I think when we look in the seeds... What have we got? Yeah, we're pretty much tapped out for uh, for mealwood seeds. So unless I find some more while we're out digging, we're not really going to get a chance to plant a whole lot more um, a whole lot more mealwood. But we do have quite a few blossom seeds. So as these plants start to rotate over, I think we're going to go into doing a little bit more blossom. And to do that, we're going to need more fertilizer because uh, the blossom does like the fertilizer. So so far, I've actually just been doing with the bio distiller. I've been kind of pumping the liquid, the polluted, uh, the polluted water down into this basin. And I was going to connect up some other basins here, too, so we can kind of fill this in and get sort of a centralized a centralized polluted water space. But what I could do, actually, is take this pipe and instead feed it directly into uh, something to make fertilizer. And then we'll have another supply going there. Let's see. How much does this take in? This will pull in 150 grams per second of polluted water. And each one of these bio distillers will put out 200 grams per second. Wow, there's actually more polluted water coming out of this thing than... The fertilizer maker can use. All right, that's actually not a little. I wasn't expecting that to be honest. Um, all right, I'm gonna make the fertilizer thing under here. I think once the dupes get around to waking up, I'm just gonna dig a little space in here. We'll throw in some flooring. Everything will be nicey nice in no time. Uh, I can't really put that there. At least not until I get the pipe swapped over. Otherwise, I'm just gonna have a whole bunch of waste collection. All right, so I'm gonna put one step here. Oh shoot. Hold on, one here, and I'm going to do a little little platform in here. And we'll do some fertilizer, some fertilizer maker construction here. And then we can, we can connect all this up to the bio distillers, and that will let us make... Uh, it's going to make algae for us, and it'll also help us make some, um, some fertilizer without having to use any electricity from the pumps. Now, I'm not sure how much the... I haven't, I haven't used these yet, to be honest with you. The fertilizer maker, uh, does this take power? It does, 120 watts of power per. That's a little bit more than I thought it would be. Yeah, blossoms do definitely end up making so much more food, that's for sure. Um, so it's probably better that we make that swap over anyway, but I kind of wanted to use up all the meal, uh, all the meal wood we had anyway. Okay. 
filling. All right, let's get this. Uh, let's get this all dug out, and we'll get maybe a couple of these put in. Now, again, the, I mean, I'm gonna have a, I'm gonna have a challenge with power in a moment. One of the big things I'm gonna run into is my power grid. You can see it's already a little bit stressed. It's kind of all evil. Hey, look at that. <laughs> hey, the tricky dragon. Thanks so much for the uh, for the super chat. It's the first one of those I think I've had in weeks. That's awesome. Thank you very much, and I'm glad you appreciate the videos and that you managed to find them too. That was pretty cool. Um, yeah. So we've. Uh, We've really been stressing our power grid here because I kind of have everything on the same grid, and we're going to have to kind of do a bit of a separation here, I think. Um, how do you manage buildings overheating? The biggest thing I found with, with managing the heat in here is really um, not to let things overheat in the first place, if you can. If you can control the, the heat that you have underway that, before you actually build the, the building or the structure that you're going to put in there that's going to produce the heat, it makes it so much easier to keep it down. So I found that like a little skim of water on the floor with most structures keeps it really, really cool. Um, I actually put a little wheeze board in over here to try to help cool the air that's coming off of our hydrogen generator because this is producing a fair amount of heat. The wheeze board doesn't seem to do a ton, but it does help a little bit. So that's, that's a little bit of something. I have down here the uh, the coal generator is actually sitting in the cold area. It's still producing quite a bit of heat, uh, and actually this needs to be restocked. But what I like to do is uh, put a little storage compactor next to it, and then I'll put I'll pack snow into it, and the heat from the coal generator melts the snow and it leaks out of the storage container. And I've got this super cool liquid on the ground that keeps it nice and cold, at least right up until the point where my duplicates come along and take the water away, which seems to happen pretty much every time. Um, so that's a bit of a management issue. Um, as uh, as uh, we're seeing in the chat there, uh, sorry, I can't even pronounce that. <laughs> that Monkel uh, is saying you can use the Hydro Fan. The Hydro Fan is great. The, the tricky part with the Hydro Fan is that uh, it does still have some bugs in it, and you'll start to freeze the, the CO2 that's coming, that the duplicate itself is breathing out. Uh, and I have seen some scenarios where the super, the hydro fan goes crazy and freezes the entire base into a sub, into like a, a, a sub zero freezer. Uh, and all the duplicates die. Um, the one downfall I think that the Hydra fan has is that it has to have a duplicate using it. So you know, as you grow as you grow your colony and you get more and more duplicates, that becomes you know easier to manage for sure. Um, so I you know more more often than not, I try to avoid those types of things where a duplicate has to use it. I don't necessarily even like the manual power generators once I get past a certain point because I, I have to have duplicates on them running them. I'd much rather have a case where the power is being generated without the duplicates spending all their time there. Uh, we do have a power issue here, for sure. The air is not running. I think it might be because our coal generator is running a little bit low. I'm going to set that on a 6. We do have in here somewhere... Uh oh where'd they go? Uh-oh. I think we lost our hatches. We had two hatches that were on this floor here that were eating out of this storage compactor and producing coal for us, and it looks like they vanished. It could be they dropped down here, and then someone opened up the door, and they fell in the water and drowned, which would be really bad. I don't see any bodies, but it might have been a while ago. Unless they... My, unless my, I don't think my duplicates killed them off, because I think I have combat off for everybody. No, I don't. I have it on for Pepe. Maybe Pepe murdered them. No, Pepe! Um, Alright, that's kind of a shame, because I had two... Uh, yeah, they're not coming up. I had two hatches there that were supplying me with a good supply of coal. That was pretty nice to have. Not gonna lie. Yeah, I mean, I might try out the Hydra fan just to see what happens, but um, I'm not really in a place now where I want to commit a duplicate to it, so I'm not gonna use it a ton. I don't think they might have gotten caught in the doors, but I thought they had fixed a bug. Well, see, this one here, I have this this one actually set to open, so they shouldn't have gotten squished in here. It's possible they they fell down through this mechanized airlock if somebody went through it when they were standing on top of it, but I don't know. I, actually, I don't see any. Oh, there's a hatch down there. We can feed that guy and we'll get coal. That's a long way down there, though. Uh, let's build a little storage down here. I'm going to put some put some sandstone in here, and then we'll make sure that this hatch is fed. So at least we'll have somebody who's supplying us with coal. I really like the two that I had up here. That was really handy. It's kind of a shame that's gone now, but we'll deal with what we can. Uh, okay, so up here, uh, where are we here? In my refinement, I want the fertilizer maker. Oh, this thing's really big. I'm going to start with just one of these for now. And I'll use both an overflow and the feed going into this. So these are actually going to produce more wastewater than this can consume. Um, so I think I'm fine with... Um, I'll feed it in so it will take as much as it can into here. And then anything else that it can't take will just go and drain down into the basin at the bottom. So that I'm not, I'm not backing up my bio distillers. 
And then I'm not having to consume too much power either, but I can still get fertilizer generation. So I think I'll start off that way. And then ultimately later, um, when I, I need to separate my power grid, and when I do that, then I might be able to set up another another power generator that I can use to um, ensure that the one side of the grid is staying well powered, and I can use maybe two or three of these. Put Pepe on trial. <laughs> well, what the trouble is, we have no evidence. Pepe's going to get off. Because we didn't have any evidence about any malfeasance against the poor little hatches we had tamed up there. These guys are... They ran all the way down there, and then they came all the way back up, and they didn't build the storage compactor. That's a little strange. Oh, wouldn't that be the irony if it's Pepe that comes down and builds the food supply for the new hatch? Ah. Uh, covered her tracks. She's feeling guilty. That's what it is. Uh, let's see. We want um, raw minerals in here. We'll, we'll pack this with sandstone. I'm going to set it at a 6 so that they'll fill that up to the top for me, and then I'll just switch it back to a 5 so they don't spend a whole bunch of time running down there all the time. Uh, I could set up a hot room to convert fertilizer into sand for air deodorizer to have unlimited medium. Yeah, that's um, I have I've been kind of toying around with trying to find a convenient way to do that. The challenge I've been finding is that most of the machines now, when they get too hot, they break. Um, so in order to produce the kind of heat they need in a given room, I mean the only thing I can think of is the actually the, where is it here the coal generator because it actually superheats the carbon dioxide that's coming out of it. And actually, this is running really hot. It's funny, it doesn't say it's overheating anymore. So that's good. What did they change the overheat temperature on this to? Overheat temperature is now 125 degrees. Meltdown at 260. And it's currently running at 102 degrees. So that's pretty good. Alright, so I think I can keep running along that way. Now the tricky part is what the air the air around it actually isn't that hot either. It's only like 80 degrees. So I don't know if I can even get enough heat off this anymore to convert fertilizer into sand. I actually tried using the liquid tepidizer in a different build to see whether I could convert dirt into sand. Um, but I could never get it hot enough. It only ran, it only runs in little surges, and it puts out a ton of heat for each little surge that comes out. And it heats up the air really well, but it, it just wasn't getting picked up by the, by the soil in order to kind of overheat and turn into sand. Yeah, you can get suits and stuff to protect from the heat and protect from the cold. And there's also a cool suit you can wear that will let you uh, walk around and... Exude decor, which is really neat. Um, oh, they kind of totally gave up on building over here. They're like, oh, forget it. That place stinks. I'm not going in there. We have a little breathable air here. This this overlay is really tough to read now. Unfortunately, everything turns the same. It's all based on look on like air pressures and whether it's a breathable gas or non-breathable gas. And technically, you can breathe breathe polluted oxygen, but it's very toxic. And this polluted oxygen over here looks the same as the clean oxygen over here. It's kind of a shame. I'm really hoping they'll make some tweaks to that before they they roll this out. I think it's on the 29th that they're supposed to come out with the full update. Yeah, we can use the lava if we get to it, and then. Um, but I have to get I have to find it first. So we're gonna we're gonna go on a little hunt today as soon as I get this little fertilizer maker going, and then we can. Oh, geez, I'm only done to using gold. That's crazy. Uh, where are we here? I guess I'll run down the ladder because we're I don't want to cut through the dirt. Get that set up there, and then. I can do piping. Where's my piping? Oh, the plumbing. Liquid pipe. Uh, we'll run that down the same output. There we go. We'll see what happens anyway. I haven't, uh, I haven't used the fertilizer maker before, so I'm kind of curious to see how bad the power drain is. So I think it said it was 120 watts. Uh, and then these bio distillers, what are they, what are they drawing? Oh, they're 120, 120 watts also. Seems like everything's 120 watts. Crazy. So they'd rather be the carbon dioxide than polluted oxygen. Um, well, no, because I think I think actually the carbon dioxide is always a non-breathable gas. Um, so if we look in, I don't have a lot of it, but down here we have a bunch of carbon dioxide, and it's at high pressure, and it's a, and, and even when it's at high pressure, it's unbreathable. So it it labels it as red, being an unbreathable gas. The tricky part is that you can actually survive breathing the polluted oxygen. Your duplicates can get sick and everything, but there's plenty of people that have actually done a full colony where they're actually surviving just on the polluted oxygen or the contaminated oxygen, which I guess is what it's called before the update. Um, and they haven't even bothered trying to have clean, fresh air for their duplicates to breathe. So, uh, you know, that still works also, but uh, I don't, I just don't like to do that. I feel it's a little bit like kind of gaming the system. I'd rather just try and play with the challenge and see if we can keep our guys breathing fresh, clean air. All right, we've got all our plants cycling out here. Mealwood seeds are gone, so this thing I can cancel and we can put in some briar. 
now that we've used up all our mealwood, we might actually find some more mealwood while we're digging around, but I'm not going to hold my breath too much because we'll be out in the swamp zone. And I'm kind of hoping more that we'll find some some thistle reed seed out there because I don't see any thistle reeds growing anywhere in the polluted water around my bi around my, my colony. Which is really kind of that kind of stinks. Uh, you know, I don't know if it'll end up hitting Android. I think it, would, uh, it might be an interesting game to play on a tablet because I could see a very I could see a scenario where you're you're just doing swiping and tapping to do all the stuff on here. So uh, because it's all based on mouse click, I don't see why it couldn't be that way. I wonder what how the interface would be. I'd fat finger it constantly, and <laughs> I'm sure that would be a problem. What do we got here? This thing's overheating finally. I need to get some snow. I should probably get on top of that before this gets too bad. Uh, there's a little snow over here we can grab. Boy, my snow options are really kind of limited down here. Let's get another ladder, and then I can actually dig up some snow. What do we got here? This is ice. That won't melt. That's ice. A little bit of snow over here. Boy, not much. Ooh. Oh, actually, this one's cracked. I wonder if there'll be a Weezwort seed in there. That would be handy. Oh no, they won't read they won't eat from the storage anymore. Well that stinks. Now that I got this thing all set up. I didn't even notice them do that. Okay. Well that's a problem. He's actually just staying underground now, buried on the ground. I guess we'll find out. We'll test it now. Um I didn't see anything in the patch notes about them not eating from storage containers anymore. But that really stinks. If they won't do that, then I just completely wasted my time. Yeah, I could deconstruct it. That would work, too. Well, that's a shame. It's just kind of a waste of resources to go and build something. Well, time and resources to build something to have to go then take it apart. But I want to keep them well fed. i got to keep them happy down here. There's only one of them left. I wish there was a way to make them multiply. Oh, what do we got here? All right, they have this built. They just need the infrastructure going for it. I'm not positive if having the, the liquid vent this high up on the pipe will result in everything kind of going out the vent and then not going down the pipe. Or if it'll do the split the way it normally does and do like a 50-50, which is kind of what I'm looking for. And what oh, obsidian. Every time. <laughs> Every time. Uh, liquid pipes. Let's cancel these. Every time I forget to check off what kind of building material I'm using for my piping. And then it just like totally goes to waste. Wasted time. Wasted effort. There we go. Uh, well, the thing with the water after the update is that you actually end up with just crazy, crazy amounts of it. Um, if you last long enough, if you are if you can go to a high enough cycle level, your colony will ultimately drown. The whole thing turns into an ocean around you as all these ice biomes all melt because uh, the temperature, the ambient temperature keeps rising. Uh, I'm not worried about the, the valve on the hydrogen, sorry, the gas valve on the hydrogen generator because it does store it up. Um, oh, I never put a switch on this pump. But that's fine, because I have it splitting oxygen out anyway, so it can do, it can do dual, dual purpose for me. Um, but what I'm going to do is turn this off and let some of the, uh, let some of the gas build up. Uh, I don't know if it'll come out on the Xbox. I, I think it would be interesting if it did. This kind of a game, though, I, I wonder what it would be like to have to try going around and, and click using the controller all the time to try and swing everything around. It's entirely possible it might. I mean, they have they already have a history of putting out games on other platforms. So, you know, I could very easily see them doing, trying to do something similar with this. Um, because it's not really that dramatically different when you think about it from Don't Starve, I suppose. Oh, Prison Architect's going to be on an iPad. That would be neat. I haven't played that yet, though. I have seen some other people play around with it a bit. All right. 30% stress. That's not so bad, but I'm going to get somebody on the table here anyway. We'll get uh, Zevrin on there, and Fluffy as Teddy can both get on stress tables. Make sure that they don't... Uh, oops, they don't get too cranky. Because nobody's happy when the Fluffy Teddy's cranky. There's the hatch. He's burrowed in right where we dropped all the stuff, so now hopefully he'll pop out and have a good little snack on that a bit. They just need to finish building this over here, and we'll have some fertilizer going. Let's look at our power overlay. The way I set this up is maybe not maybe not the most efficient. I'm going to need to figure out a way to do a little bit of separation of my power supply here. I kind of want... The trouble is I'm, I'm going to need batteries for this top portion. I kind of want the coal generator to make sure that the power keeps supplied for my oxygen. Because that, above all else, is the most important for power. But I have my water pump pumping out of this reservoir, which would almost have to be on a separate 
a separate power supply. It's so funny the way they have the, the, the power set up in here. So you can do like a main branch of the heavy watt wire. And I thought maybe I could just make lower wattage branches that go off of it, thinking that the items that would be on that branch would be drawing lower power and wouldn't cause an issue. But it, it takes into account everything that's connected at the same moment and considers each piece of the wire drawing the same amount of power. So consequently, if you get too much on it, it all breaks. Yeah, I have been using the heavy watt wire. Uh, pretty much my whole base is heavy watt wire now, I think. Heavy watt wire. This is all heavy watt wire. Yeah, I swapped it all over to heavy watt wire. Uh, the trouble is, even that has its breaking point. It only goes to, to two, uh, was it two kilowatts or whatever it'll handle. So, circuit status. So, 1.3 kilowatts of 3.2 kilowatts. So, it can pull up to 3.2 kilowatts, and that's where the issue is. We're hovering, like, right below two for the most part. So it's not it's not entirely breaking yet, but we're right at that right at that point where we're hitting that max wattage and that's why the power keeps cutting in and out on me. I kind of think maybe what I should do is look at putting another power generator up here that I can use to supply this portion of the base to keep the oxygen running and then let this power generator run and power kind of the lower portion. But I don't have that much drawing power down here. Uh, it doesn't seem to matter too much where the batteries are located in the supply chain. What it'll do is um, the generator will keep running until the batteries are drawn below a certain level of power. Um, so a, a portion of the power will go in there. It beca and because it doesn't pay attention to what's being drawn along the length of the line relative to what's connected, it just considers all items at the same time. I don't know that it really makes a difference where you place your batteries. Um, I'm probably going to put some more batteries up top here so that I can s try and separate my power. I probably should think of doing that sooner rather than later. Which means I really ought to extend this up farther and we'll cut into the biome. And I'm already dreading the future flood that's going to come from that. <laughs> maybe I better not do that. Um, maybe I should come in from the side. Trouble is, I mean, this is going to be kind of a silly long extension, but let's cut in here. We'll get this water drained out. That'll run down. It'll all fall into this basin at the bottom here, so that's fine. Uh, I kind of want to get rid of this block and swap it out for a mesh tile so that all this crazy water flowing down here won't have any issues and get all hung up. Sometimes the suspension is a little weird. Like, down here you can see... Where is it? I had a weird thing going on. Oh, there it is. You can get water suspending in between, in between two solid places like this. Uh, almost like the duplicates are super tiny, like ant-sized, which is kind of interesting. Electric accumulators. That would be interesting. The, really, the power grid really isn't very sophisticated in the game at all. I mean, it's neat. It all works and everything, but it, it's not its not terribly sophisticated. So you can't really design... You know, like, uh, technically, I should be able to put down, like, a, a second layer of cabling to help split the load and stuff, but I can't do that either. So it's... You know, there's only so much they can do, given it's a its a game and the interface what it is, is what it is. <laughs> this is a funny little airlock. It even moves out of the way on its own, and then it goes back. <laughs> it's so wacky. All right, they've almost got this ready to go finally. They've been really taking their time. Okay, I think it's running. And the pipe's empty. I see my water overlay. I think, yeah, it's doing exactly what I thought it might. Okay, so I need to extend my pipe down a little bit. Make sure we got the right materials. I'm going to go down here. I'll put a liquid vent at the bottom here. Get that going first, and then once that's built, I can destroy the liquid vent that's here. And then when it gets down the pipe, it should split, and half should go to my fertilizer maker. The other half will drain down here, and that will make sure that I don't back up my bio distillers. Oh, is it getting overheat damage over there? I should take a look at it. Ah, oh, it is, but I need this snow in here, and they haven't done it. Alright, it's the snow that's the problem. How can I... Let me try to dig in here a little bit. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to up the priority over here. Let's try and get some of this snow taken care of first. If I get this tackled, then that will help. Oh, there's snow there, too. I wonder if they can reach that. Uh, let's make sure that this is set for storing only snow. That is. It's priority six, so they'll put it all in there. So that'll work. Uh, you're right. It is taking overheat damage, which is not great. I hate wasting materials that way. But if I can get some... Uh, Use the Hydro Fan. You desperately want to see the Hydro Fan working, huh? 
<laughs> ah, MF Prime. I'll get I'll get more duplicates in here soon. I mean, we're already up to eight, which is two more than I typically play with. Ooh, who got? Oh yeah, they're getting scalded down here in this thing. I need somebody. Come dig my snow. Dig my snow. Priority. Priority seven. I set everything to priority five after I pick my priority tool because I just roll that way. You know, it doesn't accomplish anything. <laughs> Brutal. Don't use that. So I got. All right, we have we have a, a power play going on now. We got some people saying. Let's use the Hydra fan. Other people saying, "No, please don't, don't turn, don't turn your colony into the frozen winter." <laughs> I agree exactly with Soda Cream. I mean, wubba -da 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 -da. Exactly. I mean, I couldn't have said it better. Oh, these poor guys keep getting scalded. Oh, what's going on here? We got uh, polluted water. Must be leaking off the ceiling here. Let's see if we can mop up some of this. So they stop walking in it. These duplicates are real complainers. They just don't like that very much. Uh, I think I'm probably going to have to put a tile in here for them to be able to reach the snow that I want them to dig over here. These gray out, these grayed out shovels, yeah, they're unreachable. So if they get a tile in here, that'll let them run across maybe? Uh, no, I'm actually going to have to dig down here too. Let's just dig out this whole works. And I should have set the priority while I was at it. Let's take care of that, please. More scalding. What have we got in here? Zero kilograms. They're not storing anything. Somebody store something. Aw, oh, stop cleaning up the water. <laughs> I need to get this set up so they don't take my water on me all the time. I don't know how to do that, though, exactly. Hey, Freddy Freeman. How are you? Eight minutes to the coal generator room only. <laughs> Uh, no, the, uh, the Hydro Fan just kind of cools anything that's sitting next to it. So, like, if I, am, um, I'm gonna, alright, we're gonna put it in here. Just to, just to say we've done it. Uh, where is it? Utilities, Hydro Fan. Alright, so the Hydro Fan will, oh, jeez, I don't even have space for it. That's no good. It's no good at all. Uh, what am I gonna do? Oh, we have water trapped in there. Ooh, oh, there we go. The water's gonna help. I hope. Where's my temperatures? No, that didn't do anything. <laughs> Having a little skim of water I find works best, but um, if I can get some space to put a hydro fan in here, then we can do that. But oh, it's actually heat damaging the flooring now. Oh, that's really something. Um, all right. Yeah, we're gonna have to cool this down sooner rather than later. That really stinks. Let's deconstruct this. Oh, I should probably make sure I don't have any wires and stuff in there. I don't. Okay, good. Um, so we'll deconstruct this. Uh, we'll get rid of the ladder here, I guess. And we'll just do a little block. I have this... Actually, I can get rid of this whole ladder down here. Because I already had... I built another ladder and ended up going all the way down anyway. <laughs> yeah, endless repair coming. Yeah, well, no, actually, I had it under control for the longest time. But it, now it's... Um, They've been drawing away all the water that I was using to help cool it. So, I mean, it would be good to have more space, but I, I've kind of got everything arranged in a funny way here where I've got my my food containers like located just past it. What I probably should do is, is actually move the whole... You know what? I might as well just destroy the generator and move the whole thing. I can stick the whole thing down here. It'll melt the water above it and keep itself cool. I don't even know why I'm still trying to put it in place over here. Let me just... I'm going to put some tile in over here. Uh, we'll set this at a priority... I don't know, priority six, whatever. So they can tackle that. Uh, we'll build a new power generator over here. There's my power. New coal generator. Make sure it's built out of gold so it has that nice overheat bonus. I'm going to need to dig a bit. Let's get rid of this. We'll solve the whole problem just by destroying the one that's overheating and building a brand new one. <laughs> no! Oh, no! Are you kidding me? <laughs> uh, Otto, get out of the room. Come on. Get it. I, I just told you to open the door. Otto. There. Okay, now go. There we go. Now you can lock the door again. Oh, <laughs> uh, look at that. The water's all flowing out the door instead of actually flowing over to the generator where I wanted it. That's so funny. Alright, they'll get back around to locking that. In the meantime, we'll just move this whole generator. Hey. 150 people, yeah. 
Well, you know, that's how it works. Sometimes you get a lot of people in checking things out. Not everyone thinks about clicking. Oh! Ugh. I can't win. <laughs> the number of times that I've had somebody get their head stuck in a block. Uh, let's set this party nine. Uh, deconstruct party nine. Get him out of there. There we go. The number of times that I've had poor little duplicates get their head stuck in the floor. We got him. He's okay. <sighs> this game is cool. I love this game. I wish I wouldn't get my head stuck in the floor as often as I do, but... Yeah, actually, uh, water water. now that they've done the update is really not a problem. If, if anything, it's we're, the problem is going to be trying to... Oh, boy, I got tons of... Tons of food on the go here. Uh, if anything, the water is going to be an issue in that uh, we're going to get too much of it. Just going to reject all for the now until we get balance figured out with our power. I mean, I have plenty of oxygen here to support everybody. It's more my concern, really. I think is really around the food. Just making sure I have enough of that in place. Yeah, <laughs> just let them die because it's their own fault for getting stuck. <laughs> yeah, uh, you, you only really need the red alert if they're actually going to bed at night. The red alert doesn't do anything while they're there during the day, because you can just tell them to focus on that particular job by setting it a higher priority. Uh, I should probably get Crazy Dave on a table before Crazy Dave goes all crazy on me. And Pig Rider probably needs one too. And I imagine they actually, they might even be scalded from working over in that generator, and they might need to be healed so they can get all happy-go-lucky again. Oh, right, this is done. Score. Uh, let's deconstruct... I think it's buildings for this thing? Yeah, it is. There we go. Show me a pipe still under there. That's what I need. You know what? The issue I might have had there. Oh, no, there's the pipe. There we go. Perfect. All right, that's splitting off great. So we can actually make some fertilizer now. We'll need that ultimately for the, uh, the, the bristle blossom. It's the only thing that uses it so far. And since I have the outhouses turned off and the compost really isn't running, that seems like the best way to get the water that I need. This I'm going to prioritize to get this floor finished so we can get our new power supply up over here. Make that out of gold. Because who doesn't want to build a power generator out of gold? Can you imagine how heavy that thing would be? <laughs> Just ridiculous. Ah, this game is not multiplayer. It would be pretty cool if it was. Ah, uh, $300 headphones a chair? That sucks. Yes, that, would, that really would bite. I cannot say that I've had that happen recently. But then again, I have young kids, so it's about to happen at some point. I hope they had a, some sort of like a thermal generator also. Something that can turn the power that you're getting, or all the heat that you're getting, into some kind of useful power would be great. So anything that you could run off like a steam geyser, or off the lava, or... Um, what I should do is try to dig all the way through to lava. This would be psychotic, but... And then try to create a little room I could pump some lava into, and then play around with it to make dirt and stuff. Dirt and sand and what have you. Okay, come on. We gotta prioritize this, because I gotta get rid of this overheating coal generator. It's wasting my... Wasting my resources. <laughs> you would build a generator out of gold, would you? <laughs> I don't know. Hopefully it would be on the basement level of your house, because if you put it on a floor, it's almost guaranteed to fall through it. But All right. Did I rename the colony to Vesuvius? <laughs> yeah. Uh, actually, I, I want, I know it throws off a ton of heat, so the room would have to be seriously insulated. Uh, we're going to run into this power problem now, because I've got too many things drawing power now. Oh, I feel like there's just always something I need to be doing at every moment in this game. Every time I want to go and do something, I've got something else that ends up becoming a priority i got to tackle. Like, I really want to send, send some people out exploring, but I need to get a handle on what's happening here first. All right. I'm going to put a tiny little block at the end here, too, I think. Just so that if there is any water that melts here, it will kind of sit in its own water a little bit. And that will help keep it cool, also. Yeah, I mean, I could use the hydro fan, but as somebody pointed out, I really have poor clearance here. So the, the superheated carbon dioxide that's coming off of the coal generator is always going to be trapped right in the space next to it. 
So it doesn't really give it a chance for that heat to dissipate anywhere. Yeah, so let's see if we can turn the colony into Pompeii or something. Bury the whole thing in ash. <laughs> no, I don't really want that to happen. That'd be bad for my duplicates. I don't know if duplicates are necessarily people, but, you know, we gotta treat them like they're still sort of people-ish. I saw a bunch of people doing that in Mark's stream today. What is that? Is that supposed to be like a flag or something you put out there? With all the crazy stuff? I don't know. Maybe my screen is just changing the shape of it. All right. We have a coal power generator. Uh, let's shut this thing down. Deconstruct this. This thing will set it on six to get it resupplied with coal. I'm going to set a priority six on this. We'll get that little block made on the end. And then I think we should be in functional shape again. It's actually sitting in a little skim of water here, too, so that, that will help control the power. Or help control the temperature, rather. We'll see how long that stays blue. It's sitting in it's sitting in a little bit of, like, very cold water, which will help kind of draw the heat off the machine. Ah, oh, it is still climbing, though. See what, see what point it gets up to. But that'll supply our power, which is good. Ooh, and they got it supplied just before they went to bed. That was good timing. The wires are... are they've got to still be turning color. I've got too much draw on this right now. Definitely, definitely too much draw. Um, some of the machines aren't running at the moment. So actually what I could do is... Um, I could disconnect these so they're not... Well, let's get rid of this little battery too. Let's deconstruct that. We'll try to take a, as much of the load off the line as we can. This I don't even have my air scrubber running. Our air pressure has been so high that I haven't even bothered with the air scrubber. Oh, we've got a little, little trapped gas there. Let's get rid of that. Throw some gas permeable tile in here. So, th so that's not pulling power. Um, we've got a fair amount of food production going up in, in here. Once we're all out of the meal lice, we can turn off the, the micro musher because we'll just be running off of the uh, the bristle blossom instead. Uh, well, yeah, I'm familiar with what the symbol is, but it, it didn't shape properly in my chat. So um, I saw a whole bunch of people spamming that. I would really appreciate it if we don't do that. All right. How do I get the, the air pressure where it is? Um, mostly, I have a, this this uh, this oxygen production system I have running up here. Oh, I should actually turn this generator back on and get rid of some of that hydrogen. Um, so up here, I set up I, uh, three electrolyzers that are getting water fed to them. I have two air pumps pumping oxygen out of the room and a third pump that's focused on pumping hydrogen, but will take oxygen and add it to the same pipeline if it happens to run into it. Um, so... Yeah, that's pretty much pretty much where I'm getting all the oxygen supply from. And then I close things off. So this whole area here is, is all self-contained. It's got all walls sealing it in. So everywhere you see the light blue is pretty much the area that I've enclosed in. Except the bathroom. You know, it doesn't have the best air pressure in here, but it's still still decently breathable. Um, but that's how I did it. I'm just pumping tons of air pressure in here, which forces all the carbon dioxide down to the point where I haven't even had to turn on my air scrubber in probably 15 or 20 cycles. Oh, are they? Hold on. He's tired. He's got dirty hands. Uh, Chandra's fine. Stepped in polluted water, interrupted sleep. He's fine. Grimy hands, stepped in water. Moderate wounds. All right, let's get Pig Rider in the rejuvenator here. Thanks for pointing that out. It makes sense. They were over by this crazy scalding machine. So we got Pig Rider taken care of. Anyone else? Who's anyone else showing any? Oh, there we go. There's another one. Fluffy as Teddy. It's always Pig Rider and Fluffy as Teddy. No, go back to the machine. You're supposed to go get healed. Oh, he's eating. <laughs> That's right. Go sit down and eat instead of healing yourself. Because, you know, heating's good. Oh, we got more calls for the Hydro Fan. Place a couple of Weezwort under your oxygen pumps. Uh, base without, no, no. Well, actually, um, the temperature that I've been having up here has been fine. I have no temperature issues whatsoever. This thing's been running... I, I don't remember when we set this up last time. I think it's got to be 30, 40 cycles now, and I've ne never had an issue with temperature up here. I mean, I could put Weezworts up there just to keep it even cooler, but 
I mean, if you look at the temperature overlay throughout my whole base, the only thing that's really producing any heat is the manual generator. Uh, it's still a little warm down here, but nobody really goes there anyway. And the micro musher, which I want to turn off sooner rather than later. Once they start switching over so they're running on the blossom uh, instead of the, the lice loaf, then I can just turn this off. Yes, you can pump magma in the game. <laughs> I have no idea what kind of damage that does to things, but you can pump magma. How's this generator doing? Ah, this thing's still ting. Nice and cool. It's sitting right at 7.7, 7.8 7 degrees. More than anything, I found that if you control the temperature before it happens, it's so much easier to keep the temperature down. Yeah, the pump might break if you move the if you move the magma. I haven't tried it. I mean, I'm curious to see whether it will. A lot of people did it before. Um, well, I don't know about a lot of people, but some people I know did it before uh, when like before the thermal update came out and then temperatures weren't really an issue for anything so I'm not sure how it will play out no actually I don't know the I don't know the trick for duplicates working 24 7 but I don't do I really don't do too many exploits I know there's a number of tricks you can do like getting your dupes to go through doors without the door opening and that sort of thing. Your duplicants can technically breathe polluted oxygen the whole time and then you can just have everyone living in this horrible filth and you don't have to focus on producing oxygen at all, but eh, I don't like to play that way. Do we really need three pumps to get all the gas in the hydrogen chamber? No. Uh, I don't really need three pumps. What I do need is definitely two pumps for the oxygen. Uh, otherwise, you can't get sufficient pressure. I was running on a single pump initially and it just doesn't move enough air. Uh, technically... The third pump for the um, for the hydrogen, I don't necessarily need it, but it's not really a strain on my power resources because the only time that this is running is when I'm generating power from this anyway, so that this more than offsets the power consumption that will come out of that gas pump. Yeah, I have I have replanted one wheeze wart. I only had the, the single seed though, so um, I, I got that planted over here by my hydrogen generator to try to maintain that temperature a little bit. Uh, but I haven't seen any other Weezwort seeds yet. There's definitely... I mean, there's none in here unless I found one. I should check my seed bin. Uh, which I put somewhere. I don't remember where. Not there. Hold on. Let's see what my options are for seeds in here. Uh, seed. Not in there. So I did find a little cracked spot in here, but I guess I didn't get any seeds out of it. So they only have the one Weezwort. I'm starting to dig into a new a new ice biome up top here, though, so I'm kind of hoping I can find another Weezwort seed up here. Uh, actually, there's a Weezwort right there I can dig up. I don't see any other seeds. There's some cracked spots in here that you might get lucky and get a seed out of, but if I can, then I would like to plant some more of them, but I should try and use Red Alert. I have had to use it, actually. I think it was in the last stream, or maybe it was the, f maybe it was the first stream. I can't remember. I don't remember what it was. I think it was Crazy Dave or somebody was stuck, and I needed to get uh, I needed to get everyone on the on the ball to go dig them out or build a ladder or something. I don't remember. Uh, so I've, I've used it a couple times, but not very much. I'm not streaming on Twitch as well. Um, I would actually like to get my maybe turn around with getting restream set up and see if I can stream on both at the same time. I haven't tried it before. Everything I've been doing has been on YouTube just because that's where my channel is. So uh, it seemed to make a lot of sense to try to continue to build up interest in the in the channel through streaming so that it kind of supports the videos and the videos support the streaming. Um, but I don't know. We'll see. I do have a Weezwort seed. I didn't see it. Uh, seeds. Uh, I don't know. The trouble is I'd have to find the bin it's in maybe. It should give me an option if I have one anywhere. It would normally say Weezwort, but I don't have it there. So I'm thinking I don't have a seed at the moment. Oh, it was the bathroom water pool. Okay, that's what it was. The, uh... Yeah, so I did do some of the tiling out of uh, Wolframite. But it doesn't do a ton all on its own. It's, notice how cool this generator is still staying and it's been running now for a while. Again... I, when I built it, there was already a thin skim of water here. So the moment it was turned on, it was always sitting in water. And the temperature climbs so much more slowly. This thing here is just... It turned into like a heated beast. But all this tile underneath here was actually made out of Wolframite. And it just doesn't seem to do that much in terms of channeling the heat away. It's, a, it's good to use it still, ultimately. But 
Um, but it doesn't it doesn't do a ton all on its own. You kind of you still have to do other things. Yeah, Crazy Dave has had a really hard time in this game. <laughs> He's gotten you know, sort of like battered and beaten up in a variety of different ways. I'm gonna dig. I'm gonna dig all the way into this thing over here. Now, what actually what I'm probably going to run into with this one is that um, the warm air that's out here is going to start to melt in everything in here. We're going to wind up with a huge pool of water in the bottom of this. Can't deconstruct while the door's locked. Oh, yeah, because they can't reach it. Duh. I forgot I got rid of that. Thank you. I had another block there, and I took it out at one point. I don't remember why. Oh, I was, trying to, I was going to put another block in there and try doing the hydro fan. And then I just decided to forget it and build a whole new generator. Well, look, it's the... Uh, every time I do a live stream, I always put it on the channel as well. So if you want to go and check it out later, that's, a, that's an option as well. Uh, I'm probably going to stream for about two hours in total tonight. So until around uh, midnight Eastern time. And we'll come back and do another one. Uh, probably another one during the week at some point. I, I want to get on a, a more consistent schedule. I know I've said that a few times, but I, I'm trying to get something that I can do consistently... All of the time has been a bit of a challenge for me. 4.50 in the very early morning. Oh my goodness. I hope I hope you just got up as opposed to... Uh, um, <laughs> as opposed to just staying up that late. Because that's crazy. Mind you, it's a weekend. So I guess it's not that bad. But I, could, I hope you don't have to work tomorrow. Falling into black. I'm not sure. I can't remember how many other moderators. Um, yeah, I'll make. Um, hold on. This is gonna. It's gonna minimize the uh, the game here for a second. There we go. All right, falling into black. So we've got uh, we've got prime moderating now. So if you need to leave, then that's that's great. Thanks very much for helping out, by the way, um, and always coming in and being more than happy to moderate and stuff. That's really that's really helpful. There's four in total now. <laughs> Mac, you really want me to use that Hydra fan. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going to put it. I mean, just build it over here for the sake of doing it? I guess I could do that. <laughs> Alright, just to say that we've used the Hydra fan, I'm going to build one and put it right there. I don't even know if this thing needs power. Does it need power? I can't tell. Hold on. Cancel. What does this thing need? Utilities. Hydra fan. Oh, gosh. It doesn't even need power. Uh, so I'm gonna get rid of that extra wire that I had there, so we don't have that sticking up, just for no reason at all. Yeah, it does say I have one, but I can't figure out where it is. I had um, I can't think of what storage bin it would it would be sitting in. I hate to go through and look for all these. I had one storage bin that I had built a Weezwart in. Maybe I dug it up and they left it just sitting on the ground here, but it, it's usually it stands out because it's like a furry little ball. It's very strange looking. You know what? What I can do is I'll uh, I'll just put down a storage con container and set it at high priority for Weezwart seed. Or I'll pick any one of these, I guess. Whoa, look at that. There's a storage container that has no indicator on the side. That's so weird. Oh, it had stuff in it. <laughs> Alright, they can redistribute that. And I'll put the Weezwort seed in here. Uh, I can't even pick it. I, I I must not have it. I think that's got to be a bug. Because if, if I can't set a setting on any of the storage bins, then it, it can't be there anywhere. Click on the seed in the list on the right. Oh, will it actually point me to it? No, I can't, you can't click on it. It doesn't do anything. So it's it will tell me where these other seeds are. But when I click on the Weezwort seed, it's not doing anything. It's gotta be a bug. Thanks again for coming by and falling into black. I appreciate again your helping out. I think it's kind of the one next to the hydrogen generator. Uh I don't maybe. I guess that's possible, but it, this is called Weezwort as opposed to Weezwort seed, so I don't know. I think it honestly just might be a bug. But that's okay. We'll dig out another one up here. There's one here. Uh, and I probably should try to get down here and dig this out just in case there's one down there too. This thing's going well. Let's 
producing some stuff and things. How's my fertilizer going? Uh, organic fertilizer, 7,400 kilograms. We got a pretty good chunk of that. But we do have a, we do have several bristle uh, bristle blossoms growing here now. If they can ever get caught up, these things take a really long time to mature. It's crazy. Go to Steam, click on the game, left properties, left click beta, opt in tab. Oh, you're telling somebody else how to get into the beta, yeah. What about my plumbing? My plumbing? What plumbing? There's my plumbing. Look at the size of this dead pipe just hanging out here. <laughs> it's totally wasted. Oh, what's all the deleted messages going on for? Ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh. No! Ah. Plastic pop-up. So I tried to get it so that I could actually... I'm going to have to get there. There's a, Actually, I think you can download on Steam. It's like 4 euro or something. <sighs> It's like four euro, and you can get to that. Will actually make it so that your your games will play in windowed borderless mode. I, there's a settings you can do right in Steam to try to do that, but it doesn't seem to work for this game. So I've try, been trying to muck around a little bit to try to stop the game from collapsing on me like that. Wow, this is a big ice biome. If this ice in here melts, we're gonna have a huge amount of water down here, and it's pretty much constantly melting a little bit over time. How do I get so much hydrogen stored up? Um, I actually let the I have three of these uh, electrolyzers working, and they produce uh, they produce oxygen and hydrogen. The hydrogen builds up in the top portion of the room, and what I'll do is I'll turn off the generator for a little bit and let the concentration build up really high, and then I'll turn it on, and this pump becomes super effective at moving the the hydrogen because it's got a, a really strong concentration to move, and this fills up immediately. Yeah, no, it's not doing so well in the settings department for this game, anyway. Need to turn on quiet hours for Windows 10? I have no idea how that even works. <laughs> I've only been playing around with Windows 10, I think, for the last, maybe, I don't know, month or so? I want to say. Alright, they're digging it up here. I want to send somebody on a hunt. So, I'm going to start a little, a little dig over here. I'll send them way over this way. I don't know when they're going to get to that, because I have them doing a few other things at the same time, but maybe someone will take it on, take it upon themselves to go over and start digging that trench. Well, the debug enable is actually for running in debug mode, isn't it? So you can actually do, like, infinite building and that kind of thing. Long live Windows XP. <laughs> I, I'm not going to lie, I actually like Windows 10 so far. I've had no issues at all with it. Now that being said, I'm not doing anything terribly complicated. Mostly I'm playing games. I haven't found a geyser yet. I think I might have actually got one of the game modes that doesn't have, or one of the game starts that doesn't have a, a geyser in it. They had a bug for a little bit where if you started a game, there'd be no geyser. I also don't have any thistle reeds, so I can't make any snazzy clothing for my guys. I might still find some thistle reed if I can find some, some cracks in the ground. I'm not seeing too many of them. There's a few in here, so there's still a, a possibility there might be thistle reed in here, but I don't see any thistles growing, so I don't know. Yeah, well, yeah, I guess technically, once you get to a certain point where your 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 colony is stable, you've already kind of hit that point where the challenge isn't quite the same. Oh, stuff's going on over here. This thing broke. Ew. This is out of power. Wow, I've got okay, I've got all kinds of broken stuff. What's going on? I think I finally blew the wiring. <laughs> I don't see uh, I don't see any broken wires along here though. Nope, nope, get out of that overlay. There we go, that's where the wire's broken, right there. Alright, they'll come and repair that as they get the time to do it. Uh, I wonder if I need copper for that. Wire disconnected, yeah. I mean, not that these guys are producing a lot of power off the manual generators, but clearly it was doing something. I wonder if you, can you prioritize repairs? I don't even know how that works. Maybe if I just prioritize the generator? Nope, that doesn't work. Huh. Alright, so stuff breaks. You can't really prioritize the fix on it. That's weird. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Lala, so you, you basically have the game running all by itself and you just kind of sit back and watch. <laughs> uh, you can't pump lava, you just tried it. Oh, it did. It destroyed, did it? Okay. The Hydra Fan's done. Alright, let's go try out the Hydra Fan so we can say that we've used it. Alright, so here's our temperature where the Hydra Fan is currently. If we go send somebody in, and let's set this a priority 7 so somebody does it right away. This thing's at temperate now, so the, the temperature is climbing, though not really quickly. You know, lashing out duplicates who die will still notify players after the death that they're lashing out. Oh, really? <laughs> I haven't seen that yet. You can see, watch it. Look how quickly this thing cools everything off. We might even start to get some little chunks of frozen carbon dioxide because it cools so well. I want to see a little chunk of frozen CO2 fall. So it basically, um, the hydro fan, although, I, you know, you would think it just kind of pushes the air around or whatever. All it really does is it just uh, produces cold in its immediate vicinity. And then that cold will kind of spread to the things around it a little bit. The trouble here is that this granite is superheated. And the, some of the materials, once they've been heated up, they just kind of keep that heat. So I don't know that this is going to cool down too well, but we'll see. They're not getting scalded at least, but yeah, they'll use the little hydro fan here to cool things off. So, anyway, that's how it works. It, it does cool stuff a little bit, but I'm not too worried about it now. No, no, stop using that. Go do something more important. <laughs> I think that's a four. Every task is more important than using the Hydro Fan now, because it's not really in a place that's actually useful. <laughs> but we can say we've used it, okay? We've done the Hydro Fan. And if we run into an issue with the heat in another area of the base, then we can set up a Hydro Fan there, too, which means we should probably put one up here. Because this is getting pretty warm up here. Uh, but... Oh, drat. So this Weez Ward's actually going to be in the way now. What was that? No clay. Uh, my Weez Ward's in the way. I can put the Hydro Fan on the other side, but the hair on that side's not quite as hot. Let's put it over there anyway. Let's stick a little Hydro Fan in here. Uh, that's not going to cool very well on that side. Can you flip it? Oh, I can't flip this building. That stinks. Hmm. Ah, oh, darn, Weezwort. If I could move the Weezwort over one, that would be good, but... Alright, we'll stick a Hydro Fan right here, though. Might help cool things down a tiny bit. What's my username on Xbox One? I'll just type it in the chat. Oh, no, I won't. Ah, oh, drat. I forgot about that. Um, my ID on Xbox One is Cryptic Fox, and then the number one at the end. It just then went a lot faster than you thought. Well, welcome back, Falling Into Black. <laughs> I thought you were pretty much done for the night. That's great. Uh, he should have dug... Onto a pocket of hydrogen. Uh, yeah, I mean, I could have, but I'm producing tons of hydrogen on my own. It doesn't really... The thing is, with those pockets of hydrogen, I... Here's... There's one way down here, and there's another one over here. But if you look at the concentration, it's only 1,800 grams per square. And then below that is polluted oxygen. So when you dig into these pockets, you deplete them super fast. And then... And then what? You spent all the energy to get over there to get it, but you're not really getting good power off it. This setup up here produces far more hydrogen than I'll ever get out of one of those little pockets. Yeah, those would be none. Can we, uh, can we block out those words, please? That would be great. Yeah, let's... Yeah. <laughs> hey, they dug the trench out over here. Cool. All right, so we get over here. Oh, there's a morb. Hello, morb. Hold on one moment, please. Thank you. Okay, so... Oh, somebody's suffocating. Who's who's not breathing? Oh! Ah, oh, are you kidding? It's always somebody. I should have been paying attention. Let's get this at a priority nine. We'll get him dug out of here quickly. Somebody build fast before King Golden dies. The race is on. I have no idea if he's going to get there fast enough. Come on, come on, come on. Go faster. <laughs> oh, no. Come on. Ah! Duplicate died. Well, that's the first one that's died in this playthrough, at least. That's something. <laughs> uh, King Golden. Well, he's not here, fortunately, to see his own demise. Maybe he'll catch it later on the stream. That's pretty funny. Well, I mean, it's not, not that funny, but... Um, so, on the plus side, MF Golden... Or, sorry, MF Prime. We have... Uh, we have room for another duplicate. 
make liquid carbon uh like liquid carbon dioxide um the funny thing is carbon dioxide is, oh this is actually saying it's got too much water now that's really funny i've never had that uh let's mop up one little square of this here it's flooded so it stopped running but it's nice and cool get ready to cancel that there we go perfect Everything's running again over there. Okay, good. So we got our power back, and just in time for another duplicate. So there's maybe, maybe the ideal timing at the the moment that King Gold sort of <laughs> sort of left the colony. Hopefully, we get somebody good. So we got a yokel. He can't do any research, but since the research is already all completed, that's not a downside in any way. Grease monkey, good with tinkering, uh, or we can go with someone who can't build or a mouth breather. Neither of which are really better options. So congratulations, MF Prime. There we go. Do you have any numbers? Oh, one, two, three. There you go. Emma Prime, one, two, three. We'll get you in the game now. You could be a fancy little blonde-haired waif. <laughs> I don't think that necessarily fits your description, but there it is there. <laughs> uh, Lala, I'll get you on the list for people that would like to have a duplicate in here. So that as more of as I kill off more duplicates and with my you know wonderful planning skills, <laughs> then maybe uh, we'll get some more people in here. I'm gonna build a little shrine here that we can take care of this with. Let's do a tasteful memorial. Set it over here. This could be our graveyard. You know, it's it's not an area that I'm using right now anyway. So stick our duplicates over there. Uh, stress went right through the roof. Let's get Zevran on the massage table to get that taken care of. Fluffiest Teddy, we'll get him on there too. There we go. Well, that really stinks. First duplicate down, I guess. Special snowflake. <laughs> you want to see me make liquid hydrogen? Um, that takes so much power. Uh, I don't really want to kind of tank my base. So when I did, I did it on uh, on a tutorial where I made liquid oxygen, but I, I kind of committed everything in the base to be to, to making that. I could do it in a in a. I guess I could do it in a manual loop. We could make some. What temperature does the hydrogen turn into a liquid at? I can't even remember. Because I know it can be super cool to like 250 degrees below Celsius, I think. Anybody know that off the top of the head? So they can beat me to my Google machine? Temperature of liquid hydrogen. Okay, so minus 250 degrees, 53 degrees Celsius, we'd have to go to get liquid hydrogen. I'd have to build a special room to be able to do that. Uh, my username on Xbox is um, Cryptic Fox and the number one. Insufficient oxygen generation. How is that even possible? Oh, this shut down for a little bit. That's right. <laughs> it's got to play catch up, but there's still tons of air. I'm not really worried about that at all. Uh... I'm going to get rid of this manual generator. We'll get it right off the power line. I don't think I really need to run it anyway. Let's deconstruct wires. Where's my... Oh, that's already set for wires. So get rid of these two gold wires here. We'll cover the materials from that. Ah, don't worry about the higher span. The hydro fan spams. Unless it gets really crazy. Oh, this thing's still broken over here. What's it waiting on? Pending repair. It's got damage from overheating. Oh, okay, there they go. They're finally fixing it. All right, so we dug out here. We found another pocket of water. Oh, what is this? Thimble reed seed. Yeah. All right, let's sweep this up. Okay, so even though I'm not getting thimble reeds growing, I do have the seeds, which means I can make a little thimble reed growing facility. That's good. Um, I'm adding to this, so I probably don't want to put it down there. Uh, there's too much water in here to cut into, so I don't want to do it there. Actually, right over here would be perfect. Okay, I'm going to do a little thimble growing thingy over here. We'll cut it in this way, and I'm going to need... A little me mechanized airlock door. I'll do a little airlock here. 
oxygen, blah, blah, blah in here. There we go. Make a morb colony. <laughs> you want to see me adopt a morb? <laughs> um, there is a morb over here. We can we can take him out as a little friend. Um, and actually, when we cut into that space... Oh, what's this? I got hydrogen up here. Za? How did that happen? Carbon dioxide I can see, but hydrogen shouldn't be over there. That's weird. Oh, well. It's not really in the way. It won't be an issue. Uh, this generator is up and running again. That's good. Just cleared out the hydrogen up there. All right. If we can get digging over here, then I, I really want to build a little thistle reed growing setup. <laughs> I shall love him and hug him and name him George. Yeah, the oxygen can be a real challenge. If you let the air pressure get down too low, then they then not only are you impacted with people suffocating, but then they're also not getting enough food, right? So, oh, actually, that mess table's on a sign. Why is that? Let's give that to MF Prime. Do we have a cot that's on a sign too? Nope, you took a cot. You just didn't take a mess table. I guess he hasn't eaten yet. That's okay. Oh, look, the thistle reed took root up here all on its own. <laughs> All right, I didn't even need. Okay, I guess we didn't even need the little, uh, little fancy grow, water growing thingamajiggers. It's gonna grow all on its own. Oh, you know what? I'm not even gonna dig in down here. This is silly. Just cancel. No, I said no. Cancel. Like as in, don't do it anymore. No, like, hello. Cancel all. There we go. Huh, I'm slow. Okay, uh, I'm gonna do my thistle growing up here. I mean, I might as well. The, so the ironing is right now. There's this issue with um, what are they called? Uh, the aquatic farm tiles. They have this little problem where when they're in water, they when they're uh, so when there's too much water, it thinks that they're they're too dry, and then when there's not enough water, it thinks that they're properly hydrated. So they're ultimately going to fix that. But in the meantime, you can get away with growing thistle reed without a ton of water. So like if you look at this thing, it should say that it doesn't have any water, but it's fine. <laughs> I could probably just go and put a whole row of thistle reeds in there just by planting the seeds. Yeah, Golden's Dupe died, unfortunately. Hi, little gamer. How are you? Yeah, he... Uh, actually, is, there, is his body still up here? Did they, no, they, they did pick it up. So he's down here in this little tombstone. A tasteful memorial for King Golden. Glitch detected. Yeah, yeah, for sure. That is definitely a glitch. That's... Uh, they're, this is something that they'll probably have to get sorted out before they release the update. Which apparently is supposed to be on the 29th now. It was uh, originally scheduled for like the 22nd, but they moved it to the 29th. Sean, yeah, it uh, it actually it, it's boomed quite a bit lately. I'm actually pretty happy about it. It's been growing nicely. Just kind of nice affirmation that people enjoy the videos and stuff. It's, it's really good. Holy, we got all kinds of plants growing here now. Everything's switching over to... Uh, over to Blossom seeds, though, because we're all out of mealwood. Plant. Fortunately, we do have lots of blossom seed. For now. Dun dun dun. It's interesting to be on a timer with the food now, where you don't you don't have that infinite uh, that infinite supply anymore. I mean, I guess you could switch back to like deep fried muck bars or mush bars or whatever, but that's not exactly. Uh, High-end fare for your poor little duplicates to be munching on. Okay, I'm gonna dig. I'm gonna dig in here and let this water collect below. So maybe I'll dig that out. Let's dig all this out, and then I'm gonna cut in here and let this water just flow down. We'll make a bigger pool in here, and then I'll keep exploring out this way. I like that you can build out of a, stuff out of a bizzolite now too. Oh, there's another morb. Ooh, morb city. He'll never let go. <laughs> What's the purpose of tungsten in the game? Um, it's more like... The tungsten is really just about like heat management. The only thing you can really make out of it... So the, tung the tungsten is the wolframite. Uh, the only thing you can make out of it is things that are made out of metal. For, th for the hydrogen generator... Or sorry, for the, um, the coal generator, you want to build it out of gold. Because the gold amalgam has a higher overheat capacity. 
than the, than the Wolframite does, but the Wolframite has a much better uh, heat absorption. So if you look at the gold amalgam, actually, where's the Wolframite here? So if you look at the Wolframite, it has um, a thermal conductivity of 15, which means it draws in heat really well. And then if you compare it to the gold amalgam, which has a heat uh, a thermal conductivity of only two, the Wolframite draws in heat infinitely better. But what the gold supplies you with that is uh, a plus 5,000% to your overheat temperature for the things that you make out of it, and you don't get that from the Wolframite. It has a really high melting point, which is good, um, but you don't get that bonus to... Uh, you don't get the bonus to the overheat, so... Oh, it's starting to get a little warm down there. I'm going to have to relocate that hydro fan. And I probably should do that now while I'm thinking of it. Because knowing me, I will, whoops, well, I will completely forget. Let's get that over there. We'll build a little hydro fan down here so it's ready when we want it. Boop. There we go. Make dry ice and then make your duplicates eat it. <laughs> I don't think you can do that. Dry ice you can make. Having your duplicates eat it, you can't. Oh, jeez. I did it again. All right, let's get, uh, I'll put mesh tiles in here for now. Uh, we should probably set those at a priority nine before Chandra decides he's not happy hanging out over there. At least he has air. He's not standing in a vacuum this time. It's polluted, but he can technically breathe it. Dry ice creaks when you cut it. Yeah, well, it's not even, um, I don't even know it's the dry ice that's squealing so much as the, the metal shrieking when you try to cut through it. Duplicant jerky. <laughs> Freeze-dried duplicant? Mmm. <laughs> that sounds yummy. Uh, DeadSec, if you actually send me send me a friend invite on uh, on Xbox, I, I never keep track of, unfortunately, all the people that toss me their names on here because um, I'm kind of in the middle of other things. So just send me uh, send me an invite and then I'll, uh, I'll add you back. Or add me as a friend or whatever and I'll add you back. Aw. Poor, poor chair. I keep forgetting he's an narcoleptic. But he just does not get enough sleep. Okay, so I think I might actually have an overflow issue. As soon as I cut into this, it's all going to drain down in here, and it might fill up this one side without draining underneath, because the fluids have really weird properties in this game. And I just created the same problem I had before. Ooh, look at that. Let's throw a little ladder here. We'll do ladder work instead. And then I can get that seed. Mm, more thimble reed. I do need to get a PS4. You're right. What if he falls in? Falls in where? Down here? <laughs> then uh, he'll be in a lot of trouble. <laughs> if he falls into the water, then we definitely have to try to build a ladder down to get him out. Because they will drown. Nope. Where's the hatch going? Sandstone. No, oh, he's leaving a fair amount of coal down here. This little poop machine on the go. That's good. Yeah, it does give you an excuse for a lot of naps. That's good. <laughs> you should carry a pot, uh, like a pillow around with you or something, though. Poor guy just keeps sleeping in the dirt. I can't be comfortable. Go, go, Thimble Reed. It's a 21%. Look at that. It's growing without any water. That's not even supposed... That's not how it's supposed to work. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to keep it going probably until about midnight Eastern time, so about another 45 minutes or so. Uh, depending on how things are going in the game, I might run a little bit longer, but I'm kind of planning to end it about midnight. Mind you, the last time I said that, I ended up going into a three-hour stream, and that was crazy. Uh, there is no co-op mode on Subnautica. Subnautica is only a single-player game. A bunch of people have been asking about multiplayer, but it's not something that they have in their, in their development timeline right now. Oh, look, we have uh, another seed growing down here. So I went from not having any thimble reed growing to the ones that I dug up are actually now growing on me. That's great. Let's dig this out. I feel I feel a little bit bad for the duplicate that's going to do the final digging on this because he's just going to end up wearing all the water. <laughs> maybe I'll uh, maybe I'll dig most of the way through and then let the water pressure take care of the last two parts. Um, you're right. Xbox and, and PS4 are both, there's a lot of pay-to-play going on with the games and stuff on them, but there's also game exclusives, so I ultimately want to be able to, um, 
I, I ultimately want to be able to play some of those games also, so I don't really want to get stuck that way. I do want to make everyone a snazzy suit. Mind you, it's not all that it's not all that fancy looking. I, I made one in my little tutorial video, and I was kind of hoping it would actually look like a little suit, but it's actually just like a blue jumper. So it doesn't look that stellar. Oh, this is going to take forever. Take it out. Somebody can get a shower. It's a dirty shower, but they'll get clean later. Okay, how's our air doing? All right, everything's looking peachy keen in here. Temperatures. Things are hot. Let's get this fan underway. With great power comes great responsibility. <laughs> Uh, I have a bunch of games on the Xbox One. Not all of them I have find time to play. I, I, I have been finding ultimately that um, the the biggest challenge I have is trying to find time to just sit down and play a game anymore. So mostly I'm focusing on ones that I'm playing on the channel. But there is an edge to the world. It's like this. Uh, I forget what the name of the material is, uh, but it's this material that you can't dig through and has no use in the game at the moment. Dig all this out here. Yeah, Mark's actually been doing... He's doing a charity stream today, and I think he's going... For, he was going to go 10 hours, I think, on his charity stream, so he should be wrapping up probably in the near future. This is an update. Um, I feel like I just wanted to know... If if this is an update or just the thermal update still and not getting a response. So I'm hold on, I'm not sure I understand what you mean. So this is the this is the thermal update. Um, it's still in the beta branch on Steam on Steam, but it is ultimately supposed to be coming over to um, the full version of the game on like the 29th. Unturned. I don't think I've, I don't think I've seen unturned. I'll have to take a look at that. Uh, hold on, let's get in here. Choose do Whoa, what just happened? Aw, oh, man, my game just crashed. <laughs> what happened? Oh, I wonder how much time I just lost. Need to plus cycle 101, so I'm not sure what broke. We'll have to go and try and figure that out. Uh, yeah, no acid droplet. It's um, this is still the thermal. They, they're still making changes to the thermal update to kind of refine it before they put it out to the full version. Where did we Where did we end up? Okay, so just before we cut in here is where it did its last auto save. I wonder what crashed it. I don't have anything that. The only thing I can think of is maybe the hydro fan cooled something to below zero Kelvin, but I don't think that should be the case. I mean, it gets cold, but I don't think it gets that cold. Free zombie game, you can be single or multiplayer. Oh, that's pretty cool. I'll have to check that out. Oh, yeah, it auto-saves every cycle, which is good. Golden's ghost crashed my game. It was Golden. He's so upset that I killed him. <laughs> Even though it was only, like, half on purpose. I do have Astroneer on the Xbox One, although, to be entirely honest, I enjoy playing it more um, on uh, Windows 10, so... Because it's a play anywhere title, you can use it on uh, you can use it on a Windows 10 computer, and then you have mouse control, which is infinitely better for controlling the the deformation tool. So I've kind of been enjoying playing it on that, and my computer is also more powerful than my Xbox is, so the game performance has been slightly better too. Okay, so I'm gonna dig in here again, and we'll see what happens. I'm still, I'm still curious to know what caused the whole game to crash. But if we see a repeat, then obviously it's something that something that's happening that's doing it. I'm gonna try turning on the, the hydro fan again and see if we just repeat the whole thing. Oh, I got two circuits overloaded too. Yeah, let's just try to slow down a little on the <laughs> on the chat there. We're all here to have fun. Hold on. Okay. 
So we have our Hydra fan working. This is cooling down near our hydrogen generator, which is good. Well, a little bit anyway. We're almost done digging through here. Once I get this dug out, then I'm just going to build maybe a bridge all the way across this using the uh, uh, using the aquatic farm tile. Even though it's not actually in the water, I think it will actually let me plant in it. I'm going to test that. I think I can grow thistle reed without any water right now. Oh, they will. I should. Oh, okay. I'll have to be careful that I don't dig in when there's a more near the water. No, that, that can't be true. Where is he? Oh, yeah, he might actually. Um, how am I going to keep him out of the water? I guess. Well, once I cut through this and it drains over here, I'll put the uh, the aquatic farm tiles all the way across the top, so I can plant the seeds in them, and then I'll just mop up any leftover water. So when I have my little pet morb over here running around, he doesn't accidentally step in a puddle. Let's get this taken care of. Cancel. Reject all. These things are not getting a ton of power. I really need to build a coal gen another generator up here. Uh, which means I also need batteries. Let's do that now. We'll get it started anyway. Actually, I kind of want to have a little platform over here. So I'm going to do... Gas permeable tile. Oh, I don't have any wolframite. Let's get some wolframite. That'll come in handy. All the way over here. We'll get our little digging digging machine and an eater going in here. Get some wolframite, and then I'll use that to build the tile. We can put it underneath the uh, the other generator. Oh, this thing's all flooded again. That's going to be an ongoing problem, I think. Priority six. Get that working. Thanks, I'm the dude, man. Yeah, I've, uh, I'm so addicted to this game. I, I play this probably more than anything else right now, which is, I don't know if it's frustrating anybody <laughs> if they want to see me playing other things, but, um, I don't know. This thing just consumes so much of my time. It's just so easy to get into a game and then have it go and go and go because you're like, okay, I'm just going to do a little more. I'm just going to do a little more. Okay, just a little bit more. Yeah, okay, that's draining well. Let me see if I can plant a seed in here. If it grows, then I'm just going to do like straight across here and just forget. I'm not even going to worry about having water on my on my tile. When they fix the bug, I'll, I'll have to make these are submerged. I think the idea with these tiles is they're supposed to actually be underwater. And then your thistle will grow on them. Um, but it doesn't work that way right now. So I just I have to use it as it is. Because like, if, if you put them underwater, your plant actually won't grow. It'll say it's drowning. I'm going to have to dig this out because it's not draining properly. I thought that might happen. I'm going to wind up with a little flood over top of this little reed. <laughs> Do mesh tile everywhere so people through here. Yeah. Well, I haven't really been having too many problems with people having bladder control issues. <laughs> as long as I keep their stress down, and it's not it's not a big issue. Although Pick Rider needs to get on the table because he's, he's the one who's up high. Everyone else is like 5% or lower for stress because they have... I find that if you... If you can keep the main area well oxygenated and you have a decent level of decor in the places that they're going to be spending time sleeping and eating and that kind of stuff... Managing the stress is not really a problem. Uh, I'll be able to play Astro on there. Um, yeah, I'd, I have a really hard time finding time just to sit down and play a game. It's not its not really a ton that I can... <laughs> I don't have a ton of free time that I can kind of kick into. Oh, look at that. It's growing no problem. So I'm going to put... I'm going to put the tiles all the way across here. We'll get our fancy little reed garden growing up here. Ooh, and once we get that going, then we can make our little uh, clothing machine. Where can I put that? Huh. I'm actually running out of space for stuff. This isn't oxygenated, so I don't really want it down there. I guess I'll just put it right over here. Uh, where Where is that item? Stations, textile factory. We'll build it right over here. Oh, of course it takes power, which isn't great. That'll do. What do we have in here? Oh, those are full of coal. Ha, huh, funny. I guess we don't have to worry about coal for a while. Those are jam-packed. And I'm not even picking up the stuff that's on the ground. Put a water outlet adjacent to the aquatic farm and regular tiles underneath. The whole thing so the water flows through the tiles. It doesn't even need to, actually. The, it's bugged right now. So these are going to grow perfectly fine here as long as the temperature is right. Uh, without even being in the water.
I only have... What have I got? Five total seeds here? Because this one planted itself. Oh, I got this one down here I could dig up if I want to go for a swim. Which I don't think I really want to. If I can get them to just get rid of this dirt right here, then I think we'll be okay. This water will all level out under here. Yeah, so these reeds will grow without water right now. Um, later on, they're gonna ha I'm sure they're going to fix it. And it's going to say that these aquatic tiles are going to have to be underwater. Because the, the tooltip on it says it's supposed to be submerged. But it the way it is now, when you submerge it, it says they're too dry. And if you have them out in the dry air, then it says they're fine. So we're going to have to use them the way they are for now. Graphics for the channel. Yeah, I've had a couple people actually mention uh, having some more graphics and stuff. Um... Because pretty much everything I've done on the channel has been my own wonderful little... Uh, <laughs> uh, how about everybody in the chat just kind of cool the conversation in general? I'm good with most things being said in the chat as long as it's not vulgarity. <laughs> or if somebody's just repeatedly spamming the same message over and over again. Um, that gets to be pretty annoying for everybody. So uh, otherwise, I'm, I'm good with most things that people are going to say. Sorry, man. I'm a prime. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to... Assuage the uh, the chat here. All right, so we've got five thistles growing there. I could get this one, but I think I'm just going to leave it. I'm not really worried about that. Now, the great part about growing it out here is that you don't have to worry about controlling the temperature so much, because the the whole environment is already like the right temperature because it's just a natural place to grow. Um. They're still not digging this out, though. Oop. All kinds of thistle in here needs harvesting. This musher I can actually disable now. How's the temperature over here? Ah, it's not producing heat, so that's fine. We'll turn that off for now. Um, they can eat the... If there's any lice left in these storage boxes, they can just eat it. Feels, sounds like a weird Al Yankovic song. Um, they can just eat that, and then... We'll go. We're gonna have to live off bristle blossom at this point, which technically produces more per plant, but it's still on a limited supply because there I don't have an infinite number of bristle blossom seeds. What are the most What are the most common resources in in Oni? Um, definitely the sandstone, more than anything else, sandstone, because it's everywhere in the in the starting area, and you kind of get to a point where you just you you stop building in it. And you, you're building in other materials. Um, and then after the update with the geysers and the way that they're working right now, water becomes um, becomes another... Oh, there's another little little hatch we got down here. That's cool. Uh, water becomes another thing you get too much of also. I've seen a whole bunch of people that had screenshots showing like their base surrounded by an ocean because all the, uh, all the frozen biomes melted. Which reminds me, I meant to build up here. <laughs> I'm a scatterbrain, in case you hadn't noticed. Wait a minute. I remember why I didn't build up here. Because I was harvesting Wolframite, which I haven't gotten yet. Let's get this. Go get that. Does it drop one every single time, though? I mean, there's there's one here. Or is it just a chance to drop it each time? I haven't noticed, actually. Because, I mean, in my seed section, I have 27 Blossom Seeds. Now, granted, I planted a bunch, so I'm going to have to keep an eye on that. <laughs> you don't want to be president? <laughs> is it just me, or does Oni give Prison Architect vibe? Actually, a couple of people have made the comparison for Prison Architect. Um, I don't know, though. I I, I think... Uh, I guess in a lot of ways, there's, there's a lot of similarities you could draw between it and a few other games. I find this much more addicting, though. I don't know why it is exactly. I think there's more resource management involved. Suffocating? Who's suffocating? Are you kidding me? What? <laughs> All right. Just dig the ground out from underneath you as a high priority, and you can fall on the floor. Ta-da! You're free. <laughs> that was lame. These duplicants, I tell you. Gotta do all the thinking for them. Well, there's another blossom seed. I should sweep that. Get that. Give me that seed. Uh... Oh, yeah, they do seem to be dropping one pretty much every time. Let's find out here. He's eating Blossom right now, probably. Come on, a chair. Spit his seed out. I want to see it actually, like, spit out of his mouth. <laughs> yeah, he's a slow eater. Oh, yeah. 
Score. All right, so it is pretty much a never-ending food supply. Good deal. It's nice, that, nice to see that they actually swapped out what was going on with the uh, with the meal ice with something else. So that's good. I think all the duplicates probably would die because I wouldn't be telling them to harvest the food. I don't know how that works. Whether it will just fall on the ground and they'll eat it or if it just dies on the vine. Oh, right. I need power for my little textile mill. Boop. Get some snazzy suits on people. These are growing well. We've got five growing there. That's pretty good. And I dug out that dirt, so the water leveled out, so that's good, too. I kind of want that other seed, though. So I'm going to dig down here and get it. Just because I can. Give me the seed. Chocolate. It's all about the chocolate. It's got to be chocolate. They are like kids. They get stuck in the weirdest places. and they Well, you know what? They're not exactly like kids because kids don't really ever do what you tell them to. But at least the duplicates kind of do. <laughs> How's my air? Air is good. I'm actually going to run into a situation here where the base is going to reach max pressure and these things are just going to stop pumping. <laughs> the, the, the air pressure will fill up in here so much it won't even move. Uh, how's our temperature here? So here's my beef with the... Uh, my one beef with the hydro fan. It cools such a small area. It seems to be helping to spread this out, which is good. This isn't uh, this isn't scorching hot. But it cools this tiny little area and we'll get, it gets it to the point where it's really cold. And then all the areas around it just kind of stay kind of the same. And then when you stop stop moving the fan, then they expand into the area to fill it in, but yeah, they are a little like stupid computers. They follow the instructions exactly to the point. If you don't tell them don't tell them to save themselves, then you kind of run into the same scenarios you do with a program that isn't set up right. Did they get the Wolframite? Yes, they did. Okay, good. Uh, so up here, I'm going to do... I'm going to use gas permeable tile with the Wolframite only because the mesh tile apparently is the thermal property... Ugh, jeez, come on. Uh, apparently the thermal properties aren't working right. Cancel that. Um, so when you do mesh tile, it, it doesn't help wick the, the heat away the same way that the, the gas permeable tile does at the moment. No duplicates are floors that Nokia's are dropping on. I'm confused. No duplicates are floors that Nokia's are dropping on. Yeah, I'm super confused. <laughs> What's the longest I can reach before things fall apart or you start a new game? Uh, I think probably 130 something, and it and it was just that I started a new game instead of um, instead of everything falling apart. When I switched over to playing with the with with the update in the, the beta branch too, it uh, uh, you can't access your other save games unless you go back and restore your original game. So I haven't done that, and that's. Uh, he left the seed down there. He dug it up, and then he left the seed down there. Give me that. Oh, no, not mop. What sweep. There we go. I can destroy this. Yeah, so actually, it's been a long time since I've had a since I've had a, a colony just totally self-destruct. Have you tried using wool from my pipes to wick away heat? No, I haven't, I haven't uh, messed around with that just yet. In part because whenever you have the piping, you end up having to have something that's pushing fluid through the pipe, so you end up spending power on the... Uh, on the pipe, which uh, isn't something I'm super thrilled about. I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn that down now because this thing's cooled off a bit. It's just warm now. It'll get hot again quickly enough. But uh, we're gonna do another little grow thingy over here. Where's my food? Aquatic farm tile. Stick it right in there. Okay, let's dig in and get this morb since I've mopped up the water now. Go meet our morby friend. Oh wait a minute, is this chlorine? It is. Arg. Okay, I should probably put some sort of some sort of an airlock in here, I think. Just because I don't want to deal with that chlorine in my base. Accidentally shoved that food in my face, yeah. <laughs> uh that's cool. I'm not gonna go check right now, Dead Sack. I'll check um, I'll check later maybe. Accidentally ate a quesadilla. <laughs> Subnautica is a good game. I enjoy that game. Alright. 
These guys are... I, I wonder how long I could leave this. Like, if I just let it run and I walked away from it, I wonder how long they would go along without dying. I, I feel like the first thing they would do is suffocate, or they'd get stressed to the point they'd start breaking machines on me. Not that I have to send them to the massage table a lot, but it's just often enough that at some point they would get... Their stress would max out. If you have a stress problem, though, and you don't have a shower, this is, like, a really big thing for controlling stress. Getting clean seems to be just, a, like... It, it helps a ton with keeping their stress level nice and low. Uh, the chlorine is highly toxic, so I put in a double door over here. They can't breathe it. So if you check on the oxygen overlay, we've got some polluted oxygen here, but all the chlorine is listed unbreathable, even though it's in high pressure. And right now, there's no use for chlorine. Um, so I'm, I'm going to cut in here because I want the morb. And then the chlorine, I think, should filter... Well, actually, the chlorine's sitting lower, so it might even stay... I'm, you know what? I'm going to cancel this lower level dig in here. We'll get them to dig the top part, and maybe the chlorine will just stay sitting in here. But I have a feeling that once this polluted oxygen expands out, then the pressure that the chlorine's at will, will force it to expand, and it's going to come out here anyway. Hydrogen generator melted down and exploded. I have not seen that yet. I kind of want to try it just to see it. <laughs> I don't want to do it in this game because everything's been going really well. But I kind of feel like I want to... I want to I want to test that out and just watch it explode. All right, these guys are just leaving the seeds on the ground. I wonder if I can. What have I got in here? We had, just have sandstone in here. I'm gonna I'm gonna ditch all the sandstone, and instead we're gonna put our blossom seeds in here. So they'll pick them up off the ground, and then I'll set this for six. So now any blossom seeds they get, they should stick in here, and that should make them pick it up off the floor, hopefully. There we go. It's a minor thing. It doesn't really cause any issues. I just I hate leaving stuff laying on the floor. <laughs> I want to know where it is. CO displaces chlorine. Both, uh, both oxygens float on top of chlorine. Yeah, so the issue I'm going to have here is that... Oh. Whoa, what? Chilly surroundings? No! Oh, that should not even be an issue. This whole area cooled down on me. Ugh, I don't want to use a space heater for this. I wonder if it's the... Is it the CO2? Did I not... Oh, that's probably what it is. It's my CO2. I'm surprised that the CO2 is not collecting down here, though. Uh, Alright, so the temperature issue is going to be a problem. This is really going to slow this down. It shouldn't really be... How warm is this? Oh, this stuff's all nice and warm. So if I dig in here, it will help expand that a little bit. Drat. These plants are really finicky. If you haven't messed around with them yet, I mean, you have to keep them between 25 degrees and 45 degrees, which you would think shouldn't be too much of an issue, but it even just like some cooler carbon dioxide floating in the area is enough to end up cooling everything off, and then you start to run into that too cool temperature kind of thing. I probably should have enclosed these in a space instead, but so that nobody's kind of running through it all the time, but eh, well, what are you going to do? It's right at, hovering right at the 25. So they're going to keep stifling. Blast. I don't need a ton of... There we go. That's what I want. Harvest that. It's not like we need a ton of the, the, uh, the thistle fiber off of them to make the clothing. I only want to make a couple of suits. <laughs> yeah, so uh, time plays. The uh, the issue here is mostly just that this is a family-friendly channel, so I try to keep any kind of like uh, vulgarity and rudeness and stuff out of it, particularly since I'm doing chat overlay right now. Um, okay, so let's sweep this business up. Boop. Sweep that mess up. Okay, so we should have some, enough, enough thistle reed to make a piece of clothing now. So let's make a snazzy suit, maybe. We'll fabricate one of those. It only takes five kilograms of the reed fiber, so I'm not sure how much they get per harvest. I'm gonna have to check that. But I think a single a single harvest might be enough. Let's find out who's got the reed. Somebody's got the reed. Who went and got it? Oh, oh boy, that went all the way down to 37 percent again. That's crazy. 86, 89. All right, so we'll get some more out of here soon. 
Reed fiber, 4,000 grams. So it looks like I got 1,000 grams out of out of one harvest. So I'm going to need to harvest all five. Ah, that stinks. So I'm going to have to harvest all five to get the suit I want to make. Let's make a little ladder here so these guys... Oh, they can climb up. That's good. Let's give them a ladder anyway. I don't know if the hand station itself releases chlorine or just in gathering the chlorine stone that you need to make the hand station, if that's the problem. I think once you turn it into the hand sanitizer station, it doesn't release gas anymore. Um, it's only when you're storing the stones around that you need to make the, the hand sanitizer with. I have a storage container unassigned. It's two levels below the textile factory. Oh, this one here, yeah. Um, I ha originally had a power plant in here, and I, I had this set up for... I can actually just... I can destroy this thing. Um, I had this set up to store snow so that it would melt next to my power plant and help cool it off. Which, by the way, is now getting hot. But they're using the... the oh, she's standing in the water while pumping it. That's great. <laughs> oh, it's taking over heat damage. Gotta cool it down again. Oh, you know what? I also didn't put any tile into this, and I really should. Let's get some wolframite tile under here. This should make a difference. Oh, totally neglected doing that when I set it up before. There we go. Um, and then I'll set this at, I don't know, priority five. Focus on the tile. That'll help the heat. Uh, up here, we've got our tile in place here, so I can do my second coal generator I want to put in up here. Um, I should really put some liquid tile in here. I'll fill this in with a mesh tile, I guess. Scalding. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at all that water. Somebody's going to need to mop that up, too. Just a little bit. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so that should help a little bit with channeling some of the heat away. It's not going to do a ton, but it will help a bit. Oh, Golden King, you finally showed up. Um, well, we needed a new decoration piece, and apparently the Tasteful Memorial is supposed to be... Well, no, actually it's minus 15 decor. Oh, that was my slip up. I'm sorry. <laughs> did I break a pipe? Where did I break a pipe? Um, nope. I mean, it's fine. These are dead pipes uh, I had used to move some water around earlier. Actually, I should reconnect that. Now that I'm thinking of it. Um, where's my plumbing? Liquid pipe. Let's reconnect this here. And this has no power, so I must have disconnected the wire to it also. I did. Let's reconnect that. And we're going to pump some more water up into this space. Since we've been kind of draining it down a little bit to use for our fancy electrolyzers. Yeah, so you were up here digging. Uh, and you dug a hole and fell into it. And then uh, a little while later we heard the little suffocation warning. And we went up to go and look. Golden King was standing at the bottom here with no ladder. So I sent some people to build the ladder, but they couldn't get there fast enough. And consequently... Your character is now hanging out right here, and he's not moving very far. <laughs> Does the game ever end? Only if you die, pretty much. Pretty much. I don't think it matters if the batteries are the end of the supply or in the middle. Because one way or another, they fill up with power using the excess, and then they'll send it out on the line. Yeah, I'm sorry. I've, I've already kind of replaced you. <laughs> we have... Uh, I brought an MF Prime to replace you after your uh, after your untimely demise. Not even so much to replace you. He's just sort of, you know, he's there also. <laughs> oh, hi, Spazzy. I didn't, I didn't even notice you pop in. Make Golden 2.0. <laughs> well, I kind of have a list of other people that also want to get a duplicate named in here. So rather than um, reusing the same ones over, I want to try and bring in some other people eventually. Oh, these things are really stifling bad in here. I don't like that at all. All right, I'm going to put the little heater in here. I really didn't want to do this. It's kind of a waste of power. Grr. Um, I don't even know if I can get the thing close enough for the heat to really matter. Utility space heater. This thing only draws 5 watts, so it's not like it pulls that, that much power. I guess I'll put it on this end. 27 versus 26. Eh, 
Six to one, half a dozen the other. All right, I'll put the space heater here, I guess, and then connect it up with some wiring. It's only five watts, so it's not going to draw too much, but it should help control the temperature here a bit. Uh, I need a thermal regulator, though. You know what? I'm just going to put a switch on it. We'll get things nice and toasty in here. And then I'll have to... Somebody remind me to manually turn this... You know what? I'll put a, th I'll put a thermal one right here. That'll work. Where's the love? <laughs> hey, I had you in there. <laughs> Falling into black, are you on the list? Uh, that's a good question. I'm going to go with yes. <laughs> you are now, anyway. <laughs> I've got like six people in there. Somebody getting scalded. They must be down here getting torched a bit. Oh, this is overheating still. Even with the... Even with the wolf from my tile to pull it away. Oh, all the water's gone. That's probably part of the problem. I wish there was an easier way to maintain the water level over here. I did find that if I can actually build the water inside this, the gas permeable flooring, it seemed to work really well. But it's a little harder to try to trap the water in there that way. Okay. Oh, come on. This is awful. These things should be growing without any issue. It's so funny how the temperature changes up here. Oh, it actually polluted oxygen there. All right, so they still haven't dug this out either. It's not even that far they have to dig. I just keep giving them too many other things to do. They're not, they seem to put uh, digging pretty much lowest on the priority level. Yeah, pumping water over the coal generator definitely works. It also it's, takes up a lot of power, though. So normally what I do is I'll try to store snow in a little container next to it. So I'll put a container right there. Uh, and then I'll dig up some snow if I can find any. Gosh, we're running low on snow. That's crazy. That's all ice. The ice doesn't seem to melt fast enough, so I don't want to use it. I definitely want to use snow. So we'll dig out over here. And then we'll put a ladder down here. And then we'll dig up more snow here. And this storage bin I want to turn off. This one I want to set for liquefiable snow, and we'll set it at a priority six. And now when they dig up snow, they'll store it in here. That'll melt from the heat of this uh, this coal generator, and then it will kind of flood the floor a little bit. What is on the ground in front of here? Is that ice? I think that's ice that fell. That's weird. Sand. Really? We have sand laying in front of my coal generator. <laughs> it got hot enough from stuff that fell. Polluted ice or something must have fallen, and now it's got sand sitting there. That's so funny. Oh, we made ice. Look at that. Minus 22.6 degrees off of this hydro fan. That's how cold it gets with in the surrounding area. We've got two things of frozen water here. So wacky. Well, I mean, I can store the ice, but the tr well, I'll, maybe I'll put the ice in here. The ice doesn't melt fast enough, I found. Let's put some ice in here. Uh, and this I can just set it off. Uh, well, we'll do six. That's fine. Oh, thanks for coming out and check the, checking out the stream, uh, Mac Vericorn. Appreciate you uh, stopping by. <laughs> Celsius's boo boo cheeks. Oh my goodness. Yeah, if we break open the if we break open the crypt, your bones will be like spilling out. That's not really cool. <laughs> That's a really big chunk of sand. Six, well, no, it's, it's only 6.4 grams, but it's a really big piece that it has entombing the generator. That's so weird. Come on, get that taken care of. Uh oh, somebody's hurt. Moderate wounds from all the scalding. Pepe. Let's get Pepe in here. Probably have a couple other people that are hurt too now that I think of it. I should take a look at that, because I really don't want any duplicates. Going the same route that uh, the crazy Dave did, where I had to go and rescue them. That was a that was a real pain. Can you pump hot air from cold thimble plants? Uh, we don't really have to worry about the thimble plants too much anymore. They actually changed them around so that they have a super hardy range. 
Um, if I can find here. So they're now good for minus 23 degrees Celsius to plus 23 degrees Celsius. So you really don't want to pump heat over them anymore. At least in the thermal update. In the in the uh, the pre-update, they're much more delicate and they're harder to grow. And you, it's, you're far better off just using meal ice all the time. But after the update, the thistle is super hardy. It's really easy to work with. Yeah, the airlocks, um, there's two reasons. They're slightly faster when they're powered, although they're really fast even when they're not powered. Um, and you can also set it up when they have power so that only certain duplicates can pass through them. You can put a little like keypad kind of thing in. I almost spilled your coffee, but caught in midair and not a single drop was spilled. That's impressive. <laughs> put dirt in the storage box beside the generator. will turn to sand. Uh, we could try that too. I have tried that before, um, and it didn't get hot enough. Now, mind you, the, the coal generator puts out a really consistent level of heat, whereas um, I was trying a different method to produce the heat before, and it didn't work so well. But The only tricky part is that dirt is also a limited commodity also. Does an air conditioner provide enough cool air to keep itself and a generator under control? Uh, do you mean like the thermal... Where are we here? Utilities. The thermal regulator? Yeah, it technically destroys heat. It, but it does it does draw more power. Whereas the hydrofan, it only requires a duplicate and a little bit of water to go and pump it. What's our temperature? Yeah, it's still pretty hot here. If I could just get a little bit of snow stored in this thing. I think they're finally digging some of it out here. Where are they going with that? I don't know what she's carrying. <laughs> oh my goodness, that was the longest route. <laughs> all right, that was my fault. I need to put a little tile in here so they can actually run across there. She just took like a super long route to go all the way around and put the ice in that storage box. Now the funny thing is, I actually, my, uh, my profession, because this isn't my full-time gig, this is just something I do for fun, my profession's all around work efficiency, and I was totally just making her go like a super long route to get the job done. <laughs> oh, gosh. Nick, I don't know that I can let you haunt them. I don't know how to do that. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't make... Yeah, LKZ, it doesn't make any sense, but the, the thermal regular destroys heat in the game. Some, I was reading through, uh, through the Reddit, and somebody was doing some testing with it, and... Um, they, they found that the the net heat output from the machine was lower than the amount of uh, the amount of heat that it was getting rid of so you had a you had a net reduction in total heat it, it makes no sense because there should be you know there should be that um, conservation of energy but nevertheless it works anyway I still don't have anything in the storage bin get some snow oh that's snow get that snow that's good snow Get that snow too. All right, that'll get that under control, I think. What do we got going up here? This is still not doing anything. What am I? What am I missing here? Wolframite. Oh gosh! I did not mean to build that out of wolframite. Gold. <laughs> Let's not use the wolframite. Let's use. Who wants tungsten when you can use a much more precious metal? Let's make it out of gold. Ah. <laughs> uh. There we go. Maybe they'll actually get that job done now. That would be nice. I want to build a suit. I've got this started, but... Oh, it only needs a thousand grams of reed fiber. That's actually not, not that much. They must have harvested another one of these. I'm thinking. These are all stifled. It's too cold. Oh, look at that. The top of the plant is at 25 degrees and the bottom is at 24. And the ideal temperature for them is 25 to 45. That's gross. Oh well. Break the grave. Break the grave. <laughs> you guys want to see what happens when we break the grave? All right. Here we go. No more tasteful memorial. I don't know what this is going to do to stress. Let me get stress under control first. Let's get pig and Pepe on the table here. Pig rider and Pepe. There we go. So I'll get, their, get a handle on their stress because I don't know if it's going to make everybody jump up here. Let's deconstruct this. I haven't done this before. I want to see if the bones fall out. <laughs> I'm only doing it because everybody wants to see what happens, I think. 
when am I going to fix my power? <laughs> That's a good question. I'm, getting, I'm going super slow about it, aren't I? Um, well, I have it started up here. So I have uh, I have the beginnings of the generator up here, but I want to take care of the problem generator that I have now that's my main power supply. And then once I get a generator and battery set up up here, I'll make a disconnection somewhere along the line here so that the, the lower generator only powers the lower stuff. And it'll turn itself off every time the batteries get full, which actually will help reduce the heat consumption, the, uh, not consumption, but the, the heat production. And that'll make that a little easier to manage too. If I recall correctly, when you dig into these things, you get like a little skeleton that falls out and drops off the bottom of the screen, but we'll see what happens. Survey says... Oh, there goes the skeleton. Oh, it's gone. Left behind sedimentary rock from the thing. Oh, it just vanished. Gone altogether. That's weird. <laughs> it didn't do anything to... I don't think it did anything to anybody's stress. That's probably okay. So the funny thing is, if you leave the gravestone there, it's f minus 15 decor, but if you break the gravestone, the, the skeleton disappears and everything... What's going on? Something's at insufficient concentration here. Oh no, okay, they just didn't harvest it fast enough. It was turning all brown. <laughs> revolution. A chair is going to be the head of the revolution. Where's the bones? They just vanished. They dropped on the ground for a second, and then they were gone. I don't know where they went. <laughs> it's almost like they turned into dust or something. But, I mean, realistically, that, that means there's really no reason to have the memorial there at all. You could build one, get them to put the body in it, break it so the skeleton falls to the ground and vanishes, and now you don't have something impacting your decor in that area. Because it gives a minus 15 to decor. It's very weird. Uh, I was playing the stream until about midnight, but I think I'm going to go maybe till about 12.30 Eastern, so about another 30 minutes or so. Okay, what's over here? This thing is still not set up. The reed's growing. Slowly. Alright, they're getting this built, which is good. I'm going to throw some batteries in here. Now, I know technically the battery should be at the other end of the line, but I don't think it actually makes a difference in this game. Because what will happen is the the power generator will only run until the batteries get to a certain percentage. Is she really sleeping? Is that narcoleptic sleep? Yes, it is. <laughs> okay. I thought maybe it was nighttime, but she couldn't reach her bed. Um, the, the power generator will run until the point where the batteries are full. And then it will, it will just stop. And the as long as there isn't like enough extra other power drawn, oh gosh, this is gonna be a ridiculous power line. Click. All right, we'll plug it in right down there. That's wacky. Eh, whatever works, I guess. <laughs> My goodness. Uh, all right, where's my power grid? Okay, so where I want to make the disconnection, I think, will be right around here. Actually, maybe right up here. So this lower pump will run off of this generator, and so will the pump for the bathroom. Uh, and so will these batteries in our textile mill and our little med bay. And then on the upper pump, well, maybe I should go up higher so that... Well, I'm not even using the musher. This upper pump will control the bio distillers, or the other upper power will control the bio distillers. Our oxygen pumping... And then this little fan, or this little heat thing over here, but that's not really a big deal. So I think it should be okay. We'll get that all, all built in, so we can finally make that disconnection, and then we'll stop taxing on our power grid too. And this that that way too, I think the two coal generators, although I'll be using up technically twice as much coal, I don't think they'll have to run full time. Why don't I have golden as the dead holding? I don't understand. <laughs> I'd like to buy a bunch of new monitors, too. That'd be nice. Where are we here? All right, this is all going pretty well. If I could just get that little bit more textile, I want to get a suit, at least one suit on somebody today. Let's prioritize this, just because I really want that suit. Not because it's going to do anything wonderful for me. I just want to have a, a, a duplicate walking around in it. <laughs> I kind of want to turn on the decor, the decor effect, and watch him walk around and see the little thing float around. Uh, yeah, you're, I noticed that your your Discord has a ton of bots in it. It's pretty much all the bots doing the talking right now. 
What happened to the hatches? They died or something. I don't know what happened to them. They were on this floor, or sorry, this floor, and I had them fed out of this, but they they just vanished. When I loaded in this time, they were gone. Now I do have I do have a hatch down here, who's been munching on this sandstone and dropping coal for me. Uh, and there's a second one in this space here somewhere. I think he's right here, and he's been munching on stuff too. So I have plenty of coal around. For now, anyway. I don't know if they produce enough between two hatches to keep up with two of those systems, but so far, so good. How am I keeping a suitable water supply to run it? Uh, it just doesn't draw that much water, to be honest. Um, this bathroom is... Uh, is um, the lavatory produces slightly more wastewater than the amount of fresh water that it consumes, and I have that draining into this basin after it gets purified. So I'm constantly refreshing the... the, the the fresh water down here to a degree. Uh, I had another pool of water down here that I pumped up into this space to help keep it going. And then I have another basin down here I haven't even cut into yet. Um, what's more... Oh, uh, thanks for coming to check out the stream, Lala. I know it was super late there, so... It's got to be even later now, but... <laughs> um, and then this whole area up here, the whole frozen biome, you can technically melt and create water out of it also. So water management is not really as much of an issue anymore. Yeah, I heard they don't eat out of the storage anymore. So actually, I just dumped a pile of sandstone here. There's like... Uh, it was 18,000 kilograms of sandstone sitting here that this hatch can munch on that's not in a storage container. Uh, and that's that's what's getting us the coal there. Oh, all right, I got to set this. Um, I want to activate this if it's colder than uh, 29 degrees. That's fine. I don't think this is actually connected here. No, no, it says it is. Oh, uh, did I? Ma I think I maxed out my power grid. Oh yeah, I finally done it. <laughs> I can't even get enough power to draw the five watts of power that this tiny little machine's gonna need. <laughs> That's so bad. Is the way of getting uh, plant seeds without having to find them in the pockets? Not really. No. I mean, once you're with the uh, with the bristle, when they eat, they drop a seed that lets you grant plant a plant that grows. Actually. I'm up to 62 blossom seeds. That's crazy. So blossom seeds are pretty much your infinite food supply now. Every time they eat, they uh, they drop another seed, and each seed grows a plant that gets five harvests. So you'll get an infinite food supply out of that. And they made the the, the bristle blossom a lot more hardy, so it has a much wider range of tolerance for like uh, temperatures and stuff. So it's a little easier to work with. Prioritize new coal gen. Yeah, I really should. Let's get maybe this a six up here. All right, so they'll tackle that. Oh, they already did some of the wiring here. That's good. This is all being built out of gold, which is neat. <laughs> I wish I had that much gold in my real life. All right, that's cool. Everything's good. I love how much air I have in here. Once I got this thing running well, it just like I've had no problems at all with air. That's my that's the least of my concerns. Yeah, I'm uh, thanks for popping in, Spazzy. I'm probably gonna wrap up in about twenty five minutes or so. So we'll call it a call it a wrap at about twelve thirty Eastern time. And then uh, we'll see how far we've gotten then. I kinda wanted to dig farther out this way. But I really need to get my power grid taken care of, otherwise I'm gonna keep this this crazy like shortage of things going on. I intended to do a lot more exploring this time around. Oh, there's another frozen biome here. Oh, wacky. Um, I intended to do more exploring this time, but I, I keep finding myself focused on building other things. <laughs> I think I just like building too much. No, you can't batch like containers yet, unfortunately. You have to do them one at a time, which is really kind of a pain. That's one of the things I enjoy the least, <laughs> is going through and setting... Like, every time you build a container, setting the priorities on what you want it to take. Oh, there's a little hatch. Hey, buddy. He just pooped out more coal. 871 kilograms. That's a fair amount of coal to come out of this little guy. I think you might have to see a proctologist soon. That's got to get him being a little sore. Oh, this is still really hot down here. I have snow in here. What's the temperature? It's at... Minus 21 degrees Celsius, and it's not cooling down. That is, they're not warming up. That's crazy. Oh, stress. Who's stressed? 
Chandre. Let's get Chandre and Pepe on here, I guess. Chandre and Pepe. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to be splitting my power supply right now. Um, I'm, I'm in the middle of setting up my secondary chain up here. Uh, and then when I separate it, I'll have uh, I'll have an upper and a lower. Oh, that's really funny. I'm actually not that far from Toronto, but I don't really want to give any specific details. <laughs> Cut this out. Holy. Bristle blossoms sprouting everywhere. I guess I planted a whole bunch of them at the same time. Oh, what do we run out of? Ugh, I'm all out of gold amalgam. How about that? Okay. Um, where's my easiest way to get it? There's lots of it shining around in here. It's just a matter of getting to it. Uh, I guess I'll build a ladder. Give me a ladder. Uh, right here, I guess. Whoop. Ugh. Blah. All over the place. Cancel this. Dig out this. This will have to be our priority since I want to get this all dug out. Build me my power, which means I gotta build this. And I just set it all to priority five, didn't I? Yeah, go me. <laughs> there we go. What's my ideal number of dupes? I normally work with like six. Uh, I'm at eight right now. Uh, I don't know that I have really have an ideal number. I, for most of what I'm building in the lower cycles, I like to stay at like six because I find it's really easy to balance uh, food, oxygen, and water at that point. Holy, harvest this, please. Um, and then as I start to get to the higher cycles, when having more duplicates around to do more tasks becomes handy, then I start to increase it. So I'm at eight right now. Depending on what cycle I get to, I, I don't know. It could end up being a high number. I'm not really sure. Oh, is this running? Oh. Oh, it's finally got enough fiber because that plant finally went. We might actually get a suit out of this thing. Oh, we have a battery. It's got power. Yay. Stuff's almost building over here. Sort of. This thing's still waiting on fiber. It's right there. Go get it. Build me a suit. I have no idea what happens if this stuff just dies on the vine. Oh, you know what? Maybe it just turns brown when it's on the last harvest. That's probably all it is. Uh-oh. Oh, there we go. I had a little lag. Choose a duplicate. Uh, do we want to bring in another one? Should we bring in another duplicate? Let's see. Vote thumbs up, thumbs down in the chat. Should we bring in another one? We're at eight already. Let's look at us nine. We're getting a really good supply of ongoing food, so that's not a problem. Oxygen is clearly not an issue. I think we, let's let's bring in another one. Let's bring in another one. We have irritable bowel, so they'll go to the bathroom a lot more, which actually oddly, in a really weird way, help our water supply. <laughs> we have one that can't dig; that's no use, and one that can't build. So clearly, we're gonna go with bubbles, but we gotta rename bubbles. Uh, let's go with falling into black for bubbles, since he's been helping out so much with moderation. Thank you very much for that. Falling into black, and you've even got the coolest hairstyle. The Mickey Mouse ears. Uh, you're going to get caught. <clears throat> Pardon me. Okay. We're going to need a caught for falling into black. Um, he's going to be a little bit ostracized from his peers, though, because I don't have room to build one over here with the rest of them. So we'll just throw a cot in over on this side. And we should probably give him some decor so he doesn't complain so much about his bed location. <laughs> Going fancy, lad. <laughs> I'm actually naming all the duplicates in here off of people that have been involved in the streams and involved in the chat and stuff that's going on. Oh, Craig Rubble, thanks so much. I, I am planning to make some more tutorials. Um, it's been kind of a busy week, so I haven't gotten a ton of them done, but I have a couple more I'm going to do. So I'm going to set, I'm going to do a, t a tutorial next, probably on the bio distiller. Um, that one's really simple. I'm not sure what else yet. If you guys have more things that you want to know about how to kind of set something up or build things in here, then just let me know, and I'm happy to do more of them. All right, this is going well. They finally got the gold out of here, which is good. 
don't let you die. I make no promises. <laughs> as as you may have seen with uh, with King Golden, I uh, I can't make any promises about what your outcome might be in this game. <laughs> How to keep your hydrogen pumps going? Yeah, well, that's definitely a challenge. I mean, even in here, I have three different electrolyzers going, and this uh, this hydrogen pump only runs periodically. Now, technically, I I could put in uh, I could put in a valve, and that would help maybe limit the amount of gas that it's drawing out at any given time. So because it's not sucking as much out of the room, it doesn't pack as heavy a load into the pipe, and you could keep a more consistent flow to the generator. And I probably should do that. Except there's that whole laziness factor on my part. <laughs> I could put it like right in here if I could reach it. Where are we here? Where's my gas valve? So I could stick a gas valve like right here, and that will limit the flow of uh, flow of hydrogen a little bit, so that I'm not drawing as much out of the room. And then I can just let that that uh, the generator run probably all the time. I'm gonna do that. I'm not gonna prioritize it though because I really want to get this power thing going up here. Uh, I don't know if you can still get if you can get to a completely sustainable base now, but you can get pretty close. I mean. Um, these, uh, because these drop a seed each time you eat them, I'm, I'm, my blossom seed stock is going up and up and up and up. So that's not a problem. Food is fine that way. Um, as long as you can keep these running and you've got water, then you've got hydrogen. And there's so much water available now with all these frozen biomes that can be melted. Uh, and if you find a geyser, then oftentimes it will actually flood your base. You get so much water, so that's no longer an issue. So you probably could build a self-sustainable base at this point. Uh, carbon dioxide from the coal generator? No, you can't, actually. There's no output on here. So if you go down and check out the coal generator, normally anything that will have an output, if you go to plumbing, uh, sorry, gas pipes, you'll get, like, a green little vent or a white vent. Sorry, green is for input, white is for output. But there's no choice to do that here. It would be nice if you could just plug something right on here, but you can't. It has to go out into the general space. Um, now that being said... Oh, this is really hot down here. And this storage compactor is not melting. I think they might have changed something. Huh. Because I've never had an issue before with the storage compactor. Um, maybe I'll change this to tile and see if maybe it's the wolframite underneath it that's stopping it from heating up. Which is a very real possibility. What is he doing up there? Scalding. Stop getting scalded. Okay. Oh, this is all done. Yeah. There's no coal. Set that as a six so they get it all stored up with coal. It's not going to take long for this thing to overheat again, though, which is not really awesome, but what are you going to do? Uh, okay, so as soon as this coal generator starts up, then I'm going to make a disconnection in the cable down here, and that will save uh, overloading the wires on both ends of my base. Yay, it's loaded. Okay. So we'll go to deconstruct wires. I should probably get my electrical overlay. Uh, and I think I'm going to break it right around here. Just chop that right off. So that'll leave the lower half of the base running on the coal generator, which is located down here. And I'm hoping that what'll happen is that this will start to max out the batteries on a regular basis. And the coal generator will turn off and on instead of running constantly. And then with any luck, it'll happen the same way up here too. Who's suffocating? No, oh, he's fine. Is he in? He's stuck in the door. <laughs> Just gonna make sure you can get out of here. You should be able to, but if it's a okay, good. Oh boy, we got lots of water build up down here. I'm gonna need to dig a little opening. Should prioritize that. All kinds of water now. Ironically, I think the ice that I was worried about not melting is actually melting, and the snow that normally melts easier didn't melt, or did it? Oh, maybe it did finally. Once I switched the tile out, the the snow all melted and I flooded. <laughs> All right, there we go. Lots of water there now. Yeah, that might help a little bit. I'll try that. We'll let's dig this out here, and we'll see if it makes a difference. From from what I've seen, it I don't know. It, it seems to overheat regardless, but it sure doesn't hurt to try it. Let's dig all that out. 
Somebody's going to take a really, really cold bath out here going to get it, though. <laughs> oh, everybody's off to sleep. Okay, I'm happy to have th th this is running up here now, though. And I probably should do the same over here, too. Let's make sure this is dug out. Sweet. Okay, so this is set. It has no power. Why doesn't it have any power? Alright, something's not working here. This coal generator is running. The batteries are fine. And I've got no power below. It's disconnected. I don't see why this should be an issue. What is going on here? <sighs> well, there's not a ton left to do in terms of the base setup right now. Um, I have... My textile mill is still waiting to produce some clothes by the looks of it. Unless they've already picked it up. Did it pick it up and I didn't even notice? Ah, drat. I think it might have. It's so much harder to get it out of a storage bin. Um, drat. I think I need a bypass wire on this instead of going through... No, this should be fine. Oh, it must be this point right here. This last battery spot. I think... If I go like this... Then it should work. Deconstruct wires. We'll get rid of this. There we go. That should solve for it. Hopefully. I mean, it should be plenty of power generation. I had the whole thing before running on... Uh, on the one coal generator... Plus, this is running periodically, so, I mean, it should not be having issues that way. Sorry about that. I had to cough. and <laughs> I put it on mute and then forgot it was muted. Um, okay, so... Uh, it looks like we solved the, the power problem up top. This thing just needs to be connected to the last battery, but it was just because it was flowing through that last battery, it wouldn't send it send the power outward until this battery was maxed out. So I think that's... No, I've still got battery issues. What is going on? This thing is producing consistently 600 watts. How much am I drawing off of here? Definitely, I don't have enough on here. Drat! Okay. I'm going to need to put uh, probably a manual power generator. Let's get rid of this one. And then we'll put a manual one in here somewhere that they can kind of supplement the power with. 
I guess I can run around in here. This is fine. Uh, let's do a manual generator here. And then I'm going to need to connect with heavy watt wire through here. And we'll disconnect the wire just below this point so that we've got that fed in. And I think that should help balance it out. No, I definitely, do I definitely don't have a disconnected cable. As so you can see, that it is producing power through the, the full thing. But the trouble is the coal generator produces 600 watts of power. I wonder if I'm drawing too much. No, you know what it is. I think I'm actually drawing too much into the batteries. Huh. Isn't that funny? All right, hold on. Let's deconstruct the wires here. I'm going to see what happens if the batteries aren't connected. So the trouble is this produces like 600 watts of power. Uh, each of these consumes, I think, 120 watts. This is another 120 watts. Each of these is 120 watts. So I think I'm just, I'm over, I'm actually over the amount of power that I'm producing. Yeah, so this is producing 600. I think the batteries were actually drawing the power off. And it, it, because of where I had them placed, they weren't getting to the other items. But even still, these are 120 each. That's another 120. 240, 120, 120, 240, 240. Yeah, I just have too many things drawing power. Yeah, I have my hydrogen generator, but it's not producing consistently. There's just not enough hydrogen production in here. Even with three of these electrolyzers running, it's not producing enough. I should turn this off momentarily and let the hydrogen build up a bit. Maybe once I can get it running on a consistent basis, once I push through this hydrogen, um, and I can get a little bit of a pocket build up at the top here, then this will run steady, and that should solve for that problem. Because then I'll have uh, 1,400 watts of power produced between the two power stations. That's saying nice and cool, so that's good. Wow, this one's actually going down in temperature while it runs. How about that? That's crazy. Yeah, <laughs> another culture in another ice biome, maybe. Yeah. Well, although if, if this one keeps the temperature going down the way it is, I might even be able to put a second one in here without any, any temperature impact. Which is actually really crazy to think about. I don't like this gas valve. It's already slowing things down to the point where this generator is not keeping up. There's something buggy about the gas valves. They, when you, I mean, you should be able to put a higher rate on it than this, but it, it caps it automatically at one kilogram per second. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get rid of that. It's just not cutting it for me. Well, no, I, I shouldn't need two gas pumps per electrolyzer. The thing is, um, this one pump clears out the hydrogen all on its own without any issue. I have two oxygen pumps going to, to tackle the oxygen that it gets, which has been keeping the oxygen supply in my base really solid. I just need to get enough built up in here, I think, that I can get this running. And we're at like 25 minutes after, so I'm gonna wrap it about five minutes or so. I think when this cycle ends, and all the duplicates go, duplicates go back to bed, then we're gonna call it a wrap for today. I did want to get out here and explore more. We've almost gotten to this little morb. We'll call him George. I wish I could name them. <laughs> he likes his toasty surroundings, apparently. Oh no, maybe the surroundings are too toasty. Um, so once we let him out, he'll be out here where the air is a little bit cooler, and he'll be happy. He can produce some more disgusting oxygen for us that I have no use for at the moment. Did we get our suit finished down here? It should be done. Yeah. Okay, so let's put this on. I think it was a chair that was running the machine. So we'll pick our little suit. If I can get it selected. There we go. We'll stick it on a chair. And he can be our fancy, snazzy suit owner. Uh, temp of the generator at the bottom is actually... It's still hot. Oddly enough. I'm going to mop up this water and see if maybe... With the airflow underneath, it'll be better. Come put your suit on. Where did he go? Oh, somebody's high on stress, too. Zavrin and Crazy Dave. Let's get them on the tables here. Zavrin. Crazy Dave. 
gonna reject this duplicate for now. We'll grab another duplicate the next time we're in. We'll keep building up our duplicate total. Uh, we got up to nine now so far. That's pretty good. And put a suit on a chair. Isn't that funny? Yeah. <laughs> there he is. Ha! He's got a fancy suit. It doesn't look any different. Wait a minute. Where is he? Oh, he's got a tie. Look at that. Look at Snazzy. <laughs> he's wearing a sparkly gold suit. Now that's just awesome. <laughs> Oh, hold on. I actually want to... I should slow this down. I want to see what the uh, what the decor overlay looks like around him. Look, everywhere he goes, he's, he's got this glowing green effect. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, Skylark, I did actually look at the temperature overlay, but the, the generator down there was still hot. Um, but I did have water on top of the tile, so I cleaned that off to see whether the airflow through it will actually look better. So I just put a suit on him. The first thing he does is jump in a shower. Apparently he doesn't like that suit. Too dirty. See, so yeah, it's still hot down here, but it's not. It's not. It's not over hot, so that's good. We'll see how this goes, and then hopefully, with the, the ability for it to wick away the heat down through the bottom, maybe it will help maintain the, the temperature well. The one at the top is doing super good. Oh, it's actually heating up now. I think it was turning off and on, and that was helping it keep the temperature low. Still having power issues, which isn't great. All right, we can turn this on, and that will solve that. Enable building. All right, so we're pretty much uh, pretty much done for today. They're going to be going to sleep any minute here now, but overall, I think the, the colony is looking pretty good. Um, is that on the table? Is that him? Yeah, okay. Uh, we'll get Pig Rider on there, too, because he had 43%. Our oxygen's still in a good place. Uh, that's been sitting really nice. We did separate the two power systems, so that should help with uh, with wires breaking. This generator down here is hardly even running now uh, because there just isn't all that much to run off of here. And uh, the batteries have been storing up enough power that it can help work these pumps without any too much of an issue. I think I might have to put the batteries later on down the line uh, the way it was suggested so that they will, the other items will get power before the batteries do. My only challenge with that is going to be that that would require the batteries to be down somewhere here in the base where their heat becomes more of a challenge. I guess I could hollow out this area and stick them in here. And that would put them toward the end of that chain. And I think that would probably be fine for that section. But uh, overall, everything's been growing well. I didn't get expanding. I didn't get expanded out quite as far as I wanted to, but we almost dug through to where this morb is and this wonderful chlorine gas that we'll get poisoned by. <laughs> um, and then beyond that, we've got another, another ice biome we can dig into, and we'll see what's beyond that, I guess, next time. Hopefully they'll keep digging out that way for me. I might even go through between videos, or, or maybe on the next video, I'll have them. I'll send them out farther here, and we'll see if we can find out what's at the end of that tunnel. Uh, all the duplicates are asleep, so I'm going to call it a wrap for for tonight's stream. Uh, thanks to everyone that came and checked out the stream. I do hope you enjoy them. You'll come back and check out some more. Uh, I have a quite a I'm getting quite a collection of videos on my channel from Oxygen Not Included, as well as a variety of other games. Uh, if you don't subscribe to the channel currently and you want to come back and check out some more of those other games, then certainly feel free to click that little subscribe button uh, so you get notifications as new videos come out. But uh, in the meantime, uh, thanks everyone for watching the video. I'm as always Cryptic Fox. I'll see all of you next time.